Okay, guys. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. It is 3.30, and I am in. So, y'all can watch me while I'm walking around this kitchen. I see one person. I see one person. I'm going over here first. All right. I see one person in the midst of all this. That should be, that must be you, you're the one person. At least it's one, at least it's working. I think there's five people on. Okay. Truly can't see. <laughs> James says hi, Scott. Hey, how you doing, James? How are you, Mr. Sabalin? All right, I'm gonna start with first of all. I'm gonna start with thank you. Let me let you, let me let you look at me. So there's five people or four people, okay? Whoever's on, thank you for coming. Appreciate all of you do, that do come. And I'm trying not to stay on as long as I need to be doing this work today because I have a lot to do, okay? Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for, for being here and always liking me and following me. I appreciate it. And James, I really appreciate you. You're always there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And some of the other people I know are always there. Thank you so much, so much. I know, Carol, you in there, but you know, you just don't, you don't know how to say hello, but I know you're there. <laughs> so anyway, let me get on with this. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody for this coming week. That's all I've been doing is cooking. Last week, you guys saw that we made, uh, Sharita and I made the dough for the uh, sweet potato pie muffin things. And hi, Sleepless in the Carolinas. How you doing? How are you? So we made, we already got the, the pies done. Uh, I got the lasagna done. Got the mac and cheese done, which I did on Friday. Yesterday, I did collard greens. Uh, potatoes and string beans, something else. <laughs> ham. I did the ham yesterday, and uh, something. And oh, I prepared the roast beef to go into the oven. So uh, that's good. That's good. So I, I prepared the roast beef to go in the oven. So the roast beef went in the oven today, and it is really it's done. It needs to sit so I could cut it and slice it up. So you know you have to take stuff out the oven and let it let it rest. And meanwhile, I have, uh, that was in my regular oven here. So, in this oven right here is about a 12 pound turkey, more than 12 pounds, I'm a 13 pound turkey right here. And also, in this, I have a turkey roaster. And the thing is, I don't think I, they were two around the same size. So this is, this is a turkey roaster. You see the top of it anyway. So that's a tur turkey roaster and uh, I got a turkey in here too. So <laughs> this one, I just checked the temperature and it needs to or maybe another, hmm, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep it on for the, what my timer says is about an hour and 16 minutes, but probably about 45 minutes, I'll check it. And once I check that one, then I'll check this one. So this one's sitting here and we're all ready to go, okay? What I'm gonna do in the meantime is I am going to make my uh, peach cobbler. So I'm moving a little fast, guys. You know, uh, I definitely am. Um, we didn't have a great week. 10K, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm From your lips to God's ears, James. From your lips to God's ears. That will be my uh, retirement. <laughs> James, that will be my retirement, for real. You know, yes. That's going what I'm going to be doing after this year. After this coming year. Is over I'll be more concentrating on this kind of stuff but right now um, I'm gonna get to my to my um, peach cobbler first today that's what you guys are gonna see me do the peach cobbler and you're gonna see me do the uh, cranberry sauce let me get those things done while this stuff is kind of uh, kind of like cooking and waiting because cooking sometimes is some waiting 
And after it cooks, it gotta sit, and then after it sits, I gotta cut, slice it up, and I gotta make gravy tonight. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, and you will not be here all that time. So, so you'll be here just for, for the part that I can get you in for. So right now, I'm gonna take you back to right about there, where I'm gonna be standing, right about there, okay? Be still now. Don't be aggravating me. Okay, that should be right good. That's good right there. Okay, here is my, you know guys, I'll just do this real fast. Here is my, what did James say? Oh, Joy said, Joy said something. Uh, here is my buttered. Uh, hello. Um, hello, Joy. So. Stephanie, your little pies look amazing. Well, thank you, thank you. They should be good. They'll be ready for. Uh, they were tasty. Did you not taste yours? I taste one, yeah. I didn't keep tasting them, but I tasted one, yes. Uh, you got to, with, with Thanksgiving and Christmas food, you just got to taste it and try not to continue to eat it because <laughs> it's, it's really good. You know, it really is good. That I had the ham and the collard greens and the string beans and potatoes for dinner last night because I wasn't cooking anything. And it was real, really, really, really good. So, but here is my, here's my dish that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use, I'm doing a... I'm gonna do it my way, which this is what I use. I am not, this time I'm not making my own dough cause I just don't really have time for that. I need to get this done. So I have, and I got so many things still Imagine to do tomorrow. Imagine the peach cobbler would taste like it's ready with homemade dough. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the peach cobbler would be off the chain, but I don't have time today. So, so I will not be doing that today. We should have made extra for the peach cobbler. We should have made what? Extra dough. Well, no. We, no. That was a week ago. So you need to kind of do that fresh. That was a week ago. So we're doing we're doing fresh and moving along here. So fresh, this gonna work this will work for the for this pie. I think I did that last year. I think I did the uh I did do it that way. So there's two rolls in in this thing. So I just kind of put it together the best that I can. I just kind of get it. I put two of them at the bottom and then I use the rest for my other part. So I put it in like that. Get that part going. I was watching Best Man. Best Man, I think it's called. Not Best Man, Holiday, but Best Man. When they got first got married, or just that was on TV. You've never seen the best man before? Yes, I've seen it before. Okay. It's not, that, it's not that I haven't seen it. I have seen it before, but it's on TV at the moment. What's it on DT? Yes. Mm. Whatever it's 770. Movie. Whatever 770 is. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff I like while I'm trying to cook. So that's what I was watching as I'm like trying to cook. Christmas. I guess they're not after Christmas movies. They'll probably be doing that very right after this. They'll probably be doing it right after this. So I assume that's my my definite assumption. So the next part I'm gonna do is put it here. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna cut a little bit off and put them on the sides so that I can get as much as I can get right here. I want to make it as even as possible. So we'll stick some here. Yep. Stick some on this side. And this is what you do. That's like just like the other dough. It's play dough. So you make it work. Let me get some on this side. Got a little more to cut off over here. And we'll get some up here. Right about there. As a matter of fact, I can even take some from here because this is overlapping. So since this is overlapping, I can actually get some out of there and stick it up here. And that's how I do my simple, my simple pie. That's exactly how I get it done. Get this one over here off a little bit. And let's move forward. So... The last time I spoke to you guys, I asked you guys to pray for my family 
And keep praying for us because my nephew passed away in bah Bahrain. That's where he is at. Bahrain. He passed away from a car accident and um, we got, we're trying to get him back now from Bahrain. So just keep praying for us because this is holidays. Not ever good when our young ones or any of us leave here, but somebody so young like that, it's really not good. So my mood is, uh, although I love the holidays, my mood is not great when my family's not here. So anyway, I just wanted to say that so you all know. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do here is put some sugar at the bottom. Who? What did they say? What did Jane, did Joy say? One second. thing I'm doing, Joy went as soon as we find out what you said. She read she over said, I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you, thank you. I am I am too this boy. It's it's really it's a sad situation. He, he had a bright future going on. You know, he wasn't one of those kids that we had to get out of jail or anything. He was he was a good kid. His parents did very well by him and he did very well to listen. Though he's a kid, you know, he he still it's, you know, he, 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 he really did well. And I have to say one thing about him. They did great, they did a good job with him and he did have a good life because he did whatever he needed to do and what he wanted to do. He saw more of the country than I ever saw. So, I mean, he's, he's done what he wanted to do as a young guy. So, you know, there we go. Hey, Bert, how you doing? I'm making peach cobbler, but I ain't cutting them peaches and doing it that way. I'm doing it this way. <laughs> So anyway, there's some sugar at the bottom. That's the first thing you gotta do. And the second thing you need to do, put a little vanilla in here. Definitely, I need my, I'm gonna put my, where is the answer that? Here it goes. Put some cinnamon. I sprinkle some cinnamon at the bottom too. That's what I do. Sprinkle some of that cinnamon at the bottom. You know what I, I, I do put in here? Just a little pinch of apple apple pie seasoning. I do do that too. Now I know I have it too, because I see I got about a billion dollars in that. So I pinch, I put a little of apple pie seasoning. Just a drop. You know, just a little bit. And then, I also, my favorite, always put some vanilla in there. Always. This starts that little sir syrupy, situation that you like in your peach cobbler. At least I like in my peach cobbler. So I put a little bit of vanilla splashing here and there. Put that up in there. Now we add some frozen frozen peaches. I put pe frozen peaches in here and I fill it to the gizzard because it actually comes down. It put, you know, it actually goes down a whole lot. So I fill it up. I get many bags of, of these and put them in. And I like this. I used to make them with real peaches and stuff like that. And you know, to get the fur off the peaches and the whole nine yards. But this works just as well and it's just as good. And these peaches are frozen at the point, the best part of freshness. So why should I not do it that way? So that's why I do it this way. Next thing, we do the same, basically the same process, because what I want to do now is sprinkle some more sugar, and I eyeball how much sugar I'm putting in here, but, you know, and, and the way I do it, because I don't like it that sweet, so to me, this works so much better than I put, and it's so fast. <laughs> the next thing I do, sprinkle some more of this, uh, cinnamon on here you know get some cinnamon good up on here get a little bit of the apple pie spice just a little not a lot there we go 
not too much. And the vanilla is what kicks it up. Put this vanilla up here. This vanilla right there. That's what kicks it up. So, did you just say something? I did, but so did DLove49DD. What did she say? They said hi, everyone. Hi, how you doing? So we want to splash all of this up on here. It's a good, I like a nice splash of vanilla up in there. And we need butter. I have butter here. I know I do. And now we need some butter. This is where we put my butter at. I just, I just dotted it as my mother used to say. <coughs> I just, I dot it on here. That's what we do. Come on, girl. Let's dot it up. So I'm going to dot some butter. <coughs> up on here like little pads it's important to have the butter on here so that's what i'm doing right now get my butter in sometimes I, if i'm not paying attention i <laughs> i forget <laughs> i forget to put the butter in then i have to go back to the layers and put it on but you know uh cooking is forgiving you know you have to forgive yourself and you just go ahead with it. And you make some kind of alternative. Like today, I was thinking I was going to put both of those turkeys up in this turkey roaster. But then I, when I put one in, I was like, hmm, I don't really think two of them is going to fit well. And it was almost 25 pounds. And this thing's only supposed to carry like 20 pounds. So I said, nah. You know, first of all, in my opinion, you know, it would be kind of crowded cooking together. So it would have just taken longer. So I said, okay, what you gonna do now, Steph? <laughs> Cause I already had my roast beef in the oven and I'm like, okay, what are you gonna do? So I said, maybe another turkey could fit in, in the oven. No, it cannot fit in the oven. That's not gonna work. So I checked that out, that didn't work. Then the next thing I did was, okay, so let's move it over here for a sec. So the next thing, see this whole box is gone. Good thing I bought three boxes. Here goes, another, here goes box number two. Um, so then I said, well, you know what? I'm going to try and I'm going to put it in my big, uh, my, my, uh, Ninja XL oven. Let's see if it fits in there. And you know what? It fits in there. A 12 pound turkey fits in that Ninja. So yeah, I had to bend the little, the, the foil a little bit, but it fits in there. So that's it. That was my alternative and it worked. So that's really always going to be like my second oven. So even when I buy my house, do I need a second oven when I have my Ninja? Probably not. Probably not. So I have to, you have to think about these things, especially when you know door going well. Here. You drive me crazy. Here goes the knife. So let me move that out the way. Come on now. Come on out. Of course, be careful with your knife. How many people are expecting to pass by? Uh, anywhere near between 30 and 50 people, I think. Or 30 and 50 plates, I believe. So, yes. That's what Joy wanted to know. And yeah. then she, um, Bert's dessert says, I love the way you make your peach cobbler. Thank you, Bert. This is just the quick way. And Bert said, I'll be over for Thanksgiving. Okay, I, I got plenty for you. I got, also, if you want to come and help. <laughs> Help me with the cooking. I appreciate that. <laughs> That'd be good. This is where I miss Ned. <laughs> so this whole this whole top actually fits right above perfectly. That's real nice. Okay? That's what we're trying to do. And again, we go for I some more like sugar. I go for the go for more sugar. I'm sure you Hopefully are. Hopefully I'll be able to eat that. And why won't you? My whole face hurts. Sharita has a bad sinus problem, I think, right? It's a sinus. Did you go back to the doctor? Well, they said to come back on Monday. Okay, she got, seems like she has a bad sinus infection. You can get that when you work in a nasty building. So, don't talk about, you don't know anything about that. I'm sure, that. I am sure her building is just as nasty as mine. So, and mine is nasty. And I haven't been in there. Actually, I didn't go in all week. I worked, but I didn't go in all week. So, uh, 
because I wasn't feeling well. Same thing I was having. I got out of the situation and I feel better. A little bit better right now. So that's good. So I'm telling you, you got to get out of that nasty situation. If you can, get out. Get out. All right, so I put that on. The next I'm going to put a little. Yeah, actually, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put the peaches in next. Then no I'll vanilla? Put, yeah, I'm going to put vanilla in. I could put a little, I could put a little at the top and on the top. Because I like that. The vanilla really does wonderful things for this peach cobbler. It does. It really does. So, hey guys, what what have you been doing? And tell me what what, what y'all gonna do for Thanksgiving? Like, what are, what are you doing? Are you cooking? Are you going to somebody's house? Or, you know, are you having people over? You know, what just exactly what are y'all gonna be doing? <laughs> That's what I'm wanting. Love know. forty nine. DD says, I work at the post office plant, so I understand. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah I'll say, you know about that nasty mold and stuff that you have to subject yourself to and they act like it ain't there. Thank that you kind of stuff. I'm hoping I feel better. I do too, but I have a meeting tomorrow, so I guess I'll be at work. Well, you might be at work tomorrow and off the next day. If that's what it is, then, you know, but I wouldn't. I would come... And then I go home. I mean, I know I'm in a different situation than you because I am ready to retire. So I could give two hoots about this stuff. I know. You know I know. I could give not two hoots about it. Because I'm ready to retire. students last Monday because they was on that field trip in the wilderness in the cold. So that's why you want to go in because of them? No, I have a meeting. I told you that. Oh, well, that wouldn't be my reason. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, they just see me when the holiday's over and I feel better. That's when they would see me. Okay, so look, this is full to the gizzard, which is exactly what I really want. I'm putting it all up in here. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna bake down. There's no doubt about it. So I got five bags, five bags of this in here. How many pounds? Yes, I have five pounds of peaches in here. Cause this is five pounds. Five bags, five each, pounds. Each bag is a pound. Each bag is a pound. Really? Yes, it is. So now, oh, yes. more. We get more. What do I say? So now we get more sugar. I was feeling sick Thursday. Tried staying at work Friday, but I had to go home. There you go. What? Been pumping vitamins all weekend. Yeah, you, you know. They, I don't know what makes them think that their, their buildings are clean when they are not. The nasty, dirty building. Last year, I got nothing. Why? Because I didn't go up in there. That's why. <laughs> but because we got to go in there, we got to have this. You have to be feeling sick. It's terrible. And Brett, um, Brett said, I got the damn COVID vaccine shot, man. <laughs> I feel like I haven't slept. In months, so tired. <laughs> oh my god, you kidding is me? Is this your first time getting it, or was it a booster? Oh my goodness, Bert. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got my own feeling. You guys already know my feeling on that thing. And especially for me, particular. And, and I'm not saying, I watch TV, and they telling, they saying that people think if they have COVID, they are protected uh, from, from getting COVID again. I ain't never saying that. I didn't say I'm protected from getting COVID again. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that my body has a, a natural immunity and it knows that I already had COVID. So maybe, yes, I'll get it again, but it ain't no different than somebody who got a shot and they get COVID. So I'm not really understanding why I got to take a shot. So they can stop with their lies and they do be lying, boy. Well, <laughs> they be lying. I do have a story on that, but... Let me catch up on the comments. Ellen mm -hmm. says, hi, Stephanie. Hi, Ellen. Um, D, D, D Love says, I am, I'm baking a cake on Tuesday mm -hmm. and working on Thanksgiving. I'm sorry that you oh. have to work Thanksgiving. Wow. Ellen um, also says, happy early Thanksgiving. And same to you. Friends. Same to you. And Bert said, my first... And last time, so what did you get, Johnson and Johnson, or are you just not gonna go back? <laughs> Good question. 
Are you gonna go back and get it? What made you? What, what what made you take so long to get it in the first place? You were just debating should you get it or not? Because some people have to take it for whatever they, you know, if they need to do something or go somewhere or, I mm. guess you know, they need to take so it. So Troy says my coworkers got jabbed and they're they are sick. Wow. They are all real sick from flu shots too. <laughs> Again, something else I ain't taking is a flu shot. Why, why is it that when I didn't go, when I went out last year and I had my mask on, which I didn't go into my building, but uh, many thanks. Hi, Ellen, how you doing? So why is it that when I, when I went out, when I went out last year with my mask on um, and I did everything I had to do last year, but I did go out. Not that I stayed in the house. I absolutely went out. I even went to the casino. So, I mean, I went out last year. So, how come? There's, there, how come I didn't get this nasty cold, flu, whatever the hell it is? Oh, usually sinus infection for me. Why did I get that last year? Because I was not in the place that had all that mess still in there. Including the subway, by the way. Including the subway. The nasty New York subway. It's just as nasty as it ever was. I don't know what makes people think it ain't. It is just as nasty as it ever was. So that is why. I haven't been on the subway. I well, know. I've been on I, subway. I only drive into the city. I've been if on I can't subway. Drive there. See, and you. Or take the long And you road. still got sick, and you didn't even get on the subway. Or, I was on one of those like chartered buses with the kids. Oh. Pack like fruit and sardines. Yeah, and and and, and in in uh for our field trip. Supposedly in January or February they want everybody to get all packed up together, and start this garbage all over again. To do what? To come to work. Every day want everybody full time, back out back throughout the city of New York. Yeah. Mm, Maybe the other the new mayor might. I don't change think so. I don't. Yeah, I have he, limited faith in him. Yeah, we. I I do too. I got um, limited faith in all of them. The only one I have some faith in is Cuomo. Let me catch up on. with the comments. Okay. Um, so D Love says that she got hers a months ago. Me too, me too. But what I was going to say is one of my friends, her sister is pregnant, and then she went to the doctor. She also got hers like months ago, like her final shot in, let's say, like March. And she said that her doctor said that she doesn't have any antibodies at all anymore so like she has to immediately get a booster because she's because the, because she's, like the shot has already worn off it, and she's having a baby right now and she's having a baby right now Sheesh. i wouldn't take that stuff especially with no baby inside of me nope why is she asking, where is she working she works at a school she's also a speech therapist this is you know whatever. you know what i still wouldn't take that if that the stupid first shot didn't help, then what makes this booster going to help too? Uh -uh. Anyway. I'm take no more shots. I'm having a baby. I'm going to put that in my baby. No. no, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, here's another roll. Bert says, I, I never took a flu shot and never will. Good, me either. Ellen says, wonderful. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good, Ellen. Um, Ellen has a uh, cookbook out, guys. Go check her channel out. She has a uh, she she's been spending time on her cookbook. Go see what she does over there. That's Ellen. Joy says no way for me. I'm ducking and weaving to avoid the COVID <laughs> shot. Me too. Bert says my arm is bruised from the COVID shot. <laughs> um. Bert says I've been sleeping like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, because you now have COVID. <laughs> you got, but your body's trying to say, what the hell, you, what happened to and my, what are you doing? And says, me and my boyfriend got very sick before the COVID news hit. Oh my God, we were all terribly sick before, before like, COVID? it was officially COVID. Oh yeah, me too. I had it last, two years ago, I guess in 2019. Thank Christmas, I was a sick woman. I was a sick woman. And I didn't even know what the heck was wrong with me, but... I believe it was COVID. I believe it was COVID. And, and, and you know, and w whatever I had, it stayed with me. 
throughout Christmas. I don't even know how I got through Christmas. I just like, what is this? We were thing? just dragging through I Christmas. Like, what is this thing? I feel like I think we slept the entire break after everyone. Oh, I, I didn't house, get out finally. the bed, and I always get out of the bed. I don't like to be in the bed. And I didn't get out the bed after Christmas. After I finally got it all over, oh, I was I was in the bed. I was absolutely, positively in the bed. I'm feeling a little better. I love Advil cold and sinus. You know what? I, I didn't feel well, so I just actually took a couple of Tylenols this, uh, you know, a couple of days ago. And now you feel better. I feel better. With when the I took the Tylenol. Yep. Regular Tylenol. I took the regular Tylenol two sinus. Tylenol extra strength. Mm. I took I two of those pretty decent you know and it actually made me feel a bit better so yeah i took the tylenol and then like a and couple well, they days weren't offering me any antibiotics they were like oh just take what you've been taking well they didn't have to take well they did they gave me when last year with the time that year that i that i had whatever the heck it was which i think it was covid i'm 99 percent sure it was covid because then i got diagnosed with covid <laughs> I mean, I couldn't taste and smell and all that stuff. And I didn't know what the heck was wrong with me. But later on in April, which is four months later, then I get diagnosed with COVID. And, yeah. now, and then I was diagnosed like, inconclusively. And then... Yeah, you was. You was diagnosed. I, and you probably had it too because you felt like just like I did. Now, Perry, he never felt nothing. <laughs> uh, he didn't ever get anything. But true, but true for the matter is he's generally not around a whole bunch of people unless he's doing his, you know, unless he's having a um, a show or he was doing some, uh, what you call that? You hear that? That's the train. Super loud today, Yeah, huh? It's ready to pick people like, it up. Must be like nobody outside. It, it's ready to pick up people. Wow, that thing is loud. Today it's really loud. That's Typically how close I really am. That loud. That's how close we are to the train station. Daryl's been the train to work. Within walking distance from the train. This, I mean, listen. If you want to live somewhere, honestly, <laughs> if you want to live somewhere and you want, in, you know, anywhere with public transportation, this is like, this is the best of the, of both worlds living over here. Because really, the train is like around the corner, five minutes. Even the A train is a ten minute walk, fifteen minute walk for me. Fifteen minute walk, and you at the A train. So if you don't have no car, which God. God knows you can't have a car. <laughs> you shouldn't have no car because you can't drive around here because you can't park around here. It's, it's bad. But, you know, if that's the case, we do have a lot of public transportation around here. So for that, that's always going to be a good thing about living here. But it's also, if you don't like all these crowds, it's also not too cool to live like this. <laughs> So it ain't it ain't the coolest thing in the world. Look at me. I'm doing my whole this is a whole thing right here. It looks very pretty. It's a whole thing like I'm you doing. You spend right so here. much time on it for people to just rip into it. It's such a shame. Well, it'll look halfway pretty once I'm done. So this that took what? That only took two. I didn't even open this one. So that only took two of my two of my uh boxes of Pillsbury. So Two of these does this big old pan, five pounds of peach cobbler. So I don't usually put anything else on, but what I do usually do is cover it up. And I'm gonna kind of sprinkle the top with like a little bit of sugar. cinnamon or sugar. Yeah, maybe I'll give it a little. Maybe I'll what I'll do here, I'll do just a tiny bit of sugar. I don't want that much sugar on it. But I was really thinking more cinnamon than sugar, but I put just a just a drop, no more butter. I'm not pick, basing it with butter and all that stuff. I'm not doing it. Then a little bit of more, little cinnamon. Come on, little cinnamon. So, you know what I was talking to Perry about, Sharita? I don't know. I was talking. Remember, I was telling you about the the walk-in. Uh, the walk-in bathtub? Yes. Okay. I need to find it. And I, and I thought I thought about this. So you tell me what you think. So, I'm covering up. First, let me put this in. The oven is on already 350. And in she's going to go. You know what? I'm going to pull this one down. Put more to the middle. Okay. Is there something in the oven right now? 
What was in the oven was my my uh, roast beef. Oh, and you haven't made gravy for it yet? Huh? And you haven't made gravy for it yet? No, I'm not sifting it. Well, I can cut it. Wow. Then I'll get some gravy for it. Okay, so this is going in for I don't know how long. Well, I'm going to keep this in. That's going to stay in the oven. Bert wants to know what are we having for dinner besides peach cobbler. Ha <laughs> ha. So Bert. I think I'm having soup. But I don't know what she's having. So, Bert, I got lasagna in the refrigerator. I got mac and cheese in the refrigerator. I got collard greens in the refrigerator. You didn't make barbecue chicken? No. You no. Didn't. Mm. I got collard greens in the refrigerator. I got string beans and potatoes in the refrigerator. I got ham in the refrigerator. I got roast beef sitting over there that I'm going to have to slice, and I'll probably have a little bit of that since it's already hot. And I got two turkeys going here. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. And that's what I'm doing. So I probably eat something that I already made so far. <laughs> that's, um, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I just got her some mac and cheese. Do love says um, hours happened around the beginning of 2019. Mm -hmm. I didn't get out of bed or eat anything. Went to the ER. Did the ER say what? What did the ER tell you that you had? Um, Strong Seven says hello. Hi, Strong Seven. Ellen says, yummo. Joy says, I can't find pre-made pie crust. I bought mini oh. pie maker. Listen, I Joy. can't use it right now. Yeah. Joy says, the store shelves are bare. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. And Bert says, we can't see your face. Oh, I'm going to show you my face now. <laughs> I'm going to show you my face now, Joy. Uh, cause, but I'm, but I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing. But here I am. There you go. I can't see though without my glasses, I'll tell you that. Hey Strong, happy birthday! Happy birthday to ya! What is happy this? Happy birthday. So what are you, a Scorpio? You, you're a snow, he's a Sag, right? No, I mean, I think he's still a Scorpio. What's today? Oh yeah, you might be. You still a Scorpio? Wow, happy birthday! I'm on the cusp of Scorpio and Libra. Grow so. it, <laughs> it says hello everyone. Hi, grow it, how are you? And eat it, how you doing? How are you? Thank you for coming. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm actually, I'm trying to decide, should I take a look at my turkey here? Scorpio's still good, good. But you wanna cuss, you wanna cuss. Hey Valerie, how tomorrow. you doing? So, I'm looking, you guys, I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can see this, I think. Let me, let me take a temp on this. It's about 45 minutes, but I wanna, I wanna temp on this. I'm gonna take a temp. On this one, you know what? I'm, now I got one in this oven, uh, and I have I have uh, one in the um, oven roasted thing here. Now, what this one? At least I can take off. I can take the. I took the foil off, so that one's gonna get brown. So this one, and I think it's, it probably may well be done, but I want to make sure it's done. Okay, so let me stick it in. Oh, I like that. I like when the skin is nice and crispy, man. Let me stick it in. It's at 150 in that particular part. It's not done. What's done? supposed to be at 160? One, it should be at 160 or 170 in the 170 in the leg part here. Uh -huh. So that's not done yet. And I'm gonna stick it in the breast here. I don't want to hit the bone though. Let me stick it over there. I get the bone. It holds. Both ways. I got the 144. And I have the oven on. Okay. Nope. Not done yet. I'm going to let it keep going. Not done. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, I don't want to touch this one until I know that one is done. Because they say do not open this sucker. So I'm not going to open her. And I can't see in there. Why is there no window? You can't really see in the window because it's really, it's really not. It's like all foggy in there, so you can't really yeah. see. Yeah. So meanwhile, I'm gonna, I'm coming over. I'm, I'm gonna take you guys over to the stove now. There go the stove, and there goes my pot on that stove. I'm gonna now make some cranberry sauce, guys. All right. This is the, this is this cranberry sauce recipe says it says 
to make a cranberry sauce. Simple, whole berry cranberry sauce. It says one cup of water, one cup of sugar, and three cups of these cranberries. Now, this thing says it's 12 ounces. So three cups, three times, eight times three is 24, which means you really need two bags to do this recipe. If you don't have two bags of, of, the, of this, it's not gonna work right. So I'm gonna actually do four bags, okay? So I got three bags over there. I'm gonna rinse this bag off and I'll put that in. Now, so for that, I'm gonna do two cups of water, one cup of sugar, and then, and of course, the berries. Now, in my recipe, though, I'm gonna put one cup of water, a half a cup of orange juice, and a half a cup of uh, pineapple juice in my instead of all the water. So I'm gonna give it its own extra flavor. That's how I do that. So let me let me get. I got my orange juice here. And listen, I gotta keep this away from Perry. Because when you see I got orange juice, he tears it up. And I need some of this orange juice because I'm going to put some in my yams. Uh, I'm making them tomorrow. Yeah, I'm making them tomorrow. Making the yams. Orange juice in the yams? Well, if I put them in the, in the, what's that called? If I put them in my slow cooker. Now, what do you put in there? Tell me now so I can make it tomorrow. Cherie's going to tell me what she does. What I do you do? Usually put orange juice in there. What do you put in there? Pineapple juice? Sometimes pineapple juice, usually like apple cider, um, apparently you don't have that. Uh -uh. Sometimes it's a little like winter jack, which is like apple cider brandy, you know. You know what I'm going to put in there? A little bit of rum flavoring. I'm putting some rum flavoring in here. Um, I, know, I know you'd rather have the real alcohol in there. But it's I'm not. a cough. Like, it's not like you're doing drunk coffee. Yeah. I'm not going to go buy that. I'll just put I think I'm going to have a little bit of that winter jack downstairs. I'll have to check. Okay. I may do Shavita's, uh, what did she say? Winter wine? So, um, I might do Shavita's recipe. Do you like to put it in the, in the slow cooker or do you like to put it in? I usually put it in the slow cooker. Okay. Well, you give me what you're going to do. Somebody else said something. You give me what you're gonna do, and I'll do that. That's one. No apple juice. I have no apple juice in the house. Nope. Apple juice for the cranberry sauce, or apple juice for the yams? No, not not for the cranberry sauce. I don't put it. I don't put apple juice in it. I could. Wonder why they don't sell you a 24 ounce bag to go with the recipe. Exactly. I would agree because with you. It's confusing. They want to make money, and it's confusing. It's confusing when you look at it. If you don't really realize that you only got oh, twelve that ounces. Ellen, if she uses cranberry juice in hers, so oh, that's a good. Yep, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna try that too next time. Making my favorite cranberry sauce, thick and chunky. Love that you added fruit juice. I do add the zest of a fresh orange and the squeezed juice. I am putting these slices of this orange in there. I sliced it up. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna slice it a little bit more. And I just literally put that in straight like that too. I just cut it up and put that right in. So. Pat Dumpy says, love watching you. I use cans, yep, may trade. Oh, can oh can uh, may try sorry. Oh, yo, you need to try your own, man. It's not like that. It's nothing like it. Your own is so good, and it's really easy. But pay attention to that bag because that's what the bag says. And then you go, you can get yourself all screwed up if you don't, if you think you, because you'll be actually putting too much water in there, or or whatever liquid in there if you don't pay attention to what it actually says, and that's what it really says. So here's some oranges it's going in now i can put two cups of g back to the COVID conversation he uh -huh. said they didn't know what it was i had cold chills sweats they gave me some meds and had me on a on a drip and bert said apple juice for the cranberry sauce huh 
Huh. I might think about that next time. I got to buy some apple juice. I, Do you have apple juice? No. Ellen Homemade Delight says One it's cup. awesome. Um, but make sure that you use 100% cranberry juice and not the cranberry juice cocktail. Mm -hmm. Ellen also says, and the zest and the juice in, are in my cranberry sauce. There you go. So, but I'm going to put, instead of two cups of sugar, I'm going to put about a, a cup and a half. There's some sugar already in the, uh, in the juice, of course. And if you don't need it too sweet, why well, make it too sweet? So, I'm going I'm to put like a cup and a half of sugar in this, in this pot. Then all you do is turn it on. And let Who it told hit. you how to make cranberry sauce from scratch? Uh, my daughter is the one who taught me how to, who told me to make it from scratch. It was her and her yams. She can cook now. She don't want to cook, but she can cook. <laughs> so she told me to make it from scratch and I've been doing it ever since. And yeah, everybody loves, everybody absolutely loves it. So she, before today is over, now tell me, how, I got five pounds of, potato, of, of yam. So what, what's your suggestion? I mean, so we used some, the molasses were good last time when you used it, remember? Yeah, the, the one you made. Yeah. Um, and you used the brown sugar, also a good combination. Mm -hmm. I will check and see if I have, I'm pretty sure I might have some Winter Jack. But if not, I might have some other, like, brandy or something. Uh -huh. um, and then I used the allspice. Allspice, okay. And I also use the apple pie, whatever thing that you use. Uh huh. Um, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Mm hmm. And vanilla. A little bit. Yeah, vanilla definitely. Mm hmm. Trader Joe's has a bourbon vanilla, but I don't think I have any of that. I actually have pecan, but I don't want to put pecans in because some people can't. Do some people nuts. are allergic to nuts. Yeah, so otherwise I will put some pecans up in there. Um, and then how long you keep it on? On the. I mean. I put it on like cook. low, but only for like two hours, maybe. Like. Okay, so I, that's what I'm gonna do. I had it on high last time, so I got a little too mushy. So this time I'll put it on low, and that's what I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna let this boil when it comes to a boil, which won't be long. So I can talk to you guys for a second. Uh, Ellen, it's like her grandmother, what? So yeah, I can talk to you guys for a few minutes. While we waiting, me and my grandmother will be cooking and baking for Thanksgiving. That's I, nice. That is wonderful. Yeah, I do. I honestly miss my mother because that's what we always did. How come I started doing it? Because she what? This is her. This is her time of the year, uh, and she really, really, really enjoyed this holiday. These holidays with everybody. So I always try to do it for as long as I could do it, and. Uh, you know, that's why I do that. But it's nothing like doing this with your family and learning from your grandma, right? Because <laughs> let me tell you something. She knows stuff you don't know. <laughs> and watching them do stuff. I, even when I made the turkey today, you know, with all your food you're making, will you show us how to spread? Oh, the spread before the company comes? Well, maybe so. Because it's all going to be cold. And I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do, frankly, is take everything out. And it's going to all still be cold. I'm going to put everything in bags, you know, in, in containers. And folks are going to come and pick up their container. So maybe I, maybe I can do that on Wednesday. But that's going to be Wednesday that, I, that I'm ending up doing it. Yeah. It's not like you're, you're being cooking with someone, your grandparents or somebody who likes to cook. And my mother, I was her, man. This, the holiday she just absolutely loved. Every time I do this, I always, always... Think of her. She was like, she loved this. And she really did. Oh, my goodness. She's 97. God bless her. God bless her. Wow. And she's still in there helping you guys. If God give me the strength, that'll be me. <laughs> that'll be me. I'll still be trying to do something when I'm 97 years old. Wow. 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 I could do a whole nother lifetime of work. <laughs> Almost, <laughs> but that God bless her. God bless her. Wait, something in here really smell. I don't know if it's this turkey or that turkey. One of these turkeys smell anything. good. They smell really good. You sure you don't have COVID? You, you don't. I, I don't. I had a rapid COVID test. Okay, she doesn't have COVID. 
you got to be sure because they don't close the <laughs> she's like yes ma'am because they don't close the schools down for these only you know, one two schools no. well yeah they want them they want everybody back in and this all this other nonsense it's all right i'm, I'm not going to be doing much longer for myself with it so yeah but uh i was talking to my daughter and i was thinking about this thing so I want to have this house built and I was thinking because I thought I would want one of those walk-in tubs because I really can't be climbing over tubs anymore. I can't. I only have a shower up here. I took my tub out because I, I'm like, love being in the kitchen with my grandma and mom. Yeah. Look at that. Third generation. You got all of y'all in, <laughs> in the kitchen. That is great. That is so great. That's a good, good. It's a wonderful thing, man. It was only me and my mother. My grandma really wasn't around like that. So it was just me and my mother doing what we got to do in the kitchen. So that's how that, that's how that worked. Here's my thing. Hold up. Make sure. Make me, something reminded me. Why don't it don't? Okay. I don't want that to bubble over. You never want stuff to bubble over in your oven, people. So I always try to put something either under the pan or, you know, something else. If it does start bubbling, that pan is going to catch it because you really, really, really don't want stuff in your oven. <laughs> you really, really don't. And I'm just thinking that the, that pie might be a little bit too high and might start bubbling over. So that's why I took a look at that. But I do hear, I do hear this thing bubbling over here. So this is the simple recipe. I'm taking you back over here to this. And it is, it's ready. It's bubbling. So got these all ready. These are three bags and I'm going to do one more bag which gives me two cups. Do you need something from Target? Do I need something from uh, apple juice? So mm -hmm. I just already put that in the order of other things I was ordering. Um, I guess only apple juice. Give, give me another, another container of orange juice too. I, I put that in the order also. Cause that one, he's gonna, he's gonna come for it. Perry, Perry loves orange juice, even though he ain't got no business drinking that stuff. I mean, orange juice is amazing. He, he has no business drinking it. One, it breaks him out. Two, it's got too much sugar. Is he allergic to orange juice? No, it just, I guess the acid and it does break him out. So he really bursts his dirt. Can you please send me that piece of cobbler? <laughs> what did he say? Can I send it to him? What did he say? One second. Turn this down. What did Mr. Burr say? One second. Okay. Okay. In the uh, the last one. Let me tell you guys something. When you're making this, when you're making this, this, um, what you call that? When you're making this cranberry sauce, cover the top, but let it stay open just a little. Cover that top because that stuff starts splashing all over everything. It starts popping and splashing. So you really want to cover that top when you're really doing that. So that's what I had Can to do because I could hear it pop. That peach cobbler pan you are using for Christmas. <laughs> Bert, that's that or pan. where can I purchase that pan from? I that's the um Corningware. It's Corningware. So if you go on the corner if you go on Amazon you probably will find it. But I've had that pan oh my God. 25, 30 years. Forever. I've had that pan forever. But it's Corningware. I got it from in fact I got it from the Corningware store. I went to an outlet and I, I bought it from the Corningware store. Um, in Pennsylvania, actually. But I think you would probably still get it from the Corningware store. So check out Corningware, because that's exactly what that is. It's Corningware. I love it. I, I don't use it often, but it's a wonderful casserole dish, and it makes the best peach cobbler. <laughs> it really does. It really, it's nice and deep, and it really works out well, and it comes out mwah, magnificent. Magnificent. All right, so I put, I put it in. Let me see. It says reduce the heat and gently um, boil for 10 minutes. So I got to have a 10 minute time one here. So let's do 10 time. So I'm going to let it 
it go for 10 minutes. I'm gonna stir it up and then you let it thicken. That's how you do it. Very simple. So, excuse me, some of these things we can do like that. In between waiting for other things like, <laughs> like our, our, our food to get done. So, that's still got 26 Seven minutes to on eight it. Seven are coming for sooner. Okay. You always go to Target instead of stopping shop, huh? You know, I don't mess with stopping Rob. You don't mess with stopping Rob? Huh? Yeah, they usually don't have half the time what I'm looking for. You know what I, you know what I, um, a ham glaze. See if they got ham glaze in there. Yeah. I asked you before. I, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, because I couldn't find. This is my ham glaze. I love this stuff. I'm looking for it. I only got two jars left. So see if they have this particular one, Sharita, and don't and don't they substitute don't it. it. It's not on here. Okay, they don't have my ham glaze. Well, I got two jars left for for Christmas, and that's it. That's it. I always like to have more. You want to get you to put on Amazon? I bought them from Amazon last time because nobody had them. So I figured maybe they still they have them back in the store. You know? Oh no! But oh no! But oh no! But, oh, no. All right, here we go. While this is while I'm waiting, while I'm waiting for the next thing, here goes in my big old cutting board, moving all this stuff out of the way. Because now I'm going to go and I'm gonna try to cut my I'm trying to cut my um my roast beef a little bit here. I miss Ned. <laughs> Ned's my man, I miss him. This is his job. So I got to do it without Ned. Mm -hmm. I miss Ned. Roast beef and make the gravy now, or uh, first I'm cutting the roast beef, and I'll have to trim it for the for the gravy a little later. Bring this down to a little bit of a simmer, so you don't pop all over the rim. Okay, come with me to the cast box. You're not hot anymore. All right. Let me take you down so you guys can see me. We're going down to the table again. There we go. Come on, be still. See a little. Ellen says like she loves cooking for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Me too. Bert says I love cooking every day. <laughs> he do. He do. That boy could cook. Oh my God, he could cook. He could cook. Oh. I need you here with me, Bert. <laughs> I'd rather be a food critic than a food cook preparer. <laughs> You're gonna see the differences in the, these turkeys too, because this turkey the oven be, and yeah, the, this turkey won't be as brown as that one in the oven. Not gonna be I as brown I'm not at all. I'm a huge turkey fan. I love turkey. I literally, I do love turkey, especially with gravy on it. I mean, the gravy is what makes it. The turkey is. Yeah. Okay, let me get let me get her out of here. She is so ready. Ooh, I got a nice broth. I got some nice Real gravy. Real says happy Saturday. Ooh. I mean happy Sunday. Uh, happy Sunday to you, Rosebud. Let's see. You know, I got I have my forks. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I got my big old forks. This is the only time I use them. The holiday. And then we're going to use them. Before the holidays, they come out. Team iPhone? Uh, What's that I about, Bert? <laughs> what do you say? Team iPhone? Mm hmm. Yep, that's right. That's right. We, t we are iPhone people. Here we go. I love this thing. These things come in handy when you got to pick up all this meat. This was a 10 pound. Almost 11 pound roast beef. If Santa got me a MacBook for Christmas, I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> Santa need to get me another MacBook. <laughs> Cause my MacBook is not is not keeping it so keeping up what it was supposed to keep up with. So I'm gonna need another one. My dog wants so. I'm gonna put this on the side for the moment. Then I have to pour this in a in a bowl. It looks really good. That's the juice. Oh, let me show you guys. So Y'all need to see. I didn't see the juice either. Okay. Oops. 
I don't know if you can see. Let me, let me pull it down a little bit. We can, we can okay. see, we can see, it looks good. See, that is the gravy, or the juices, from from my um, I roast mean, beef. But, you're gonna that but up, I'm right? going to make gravy out of that. That's the gravy coming up tonight, today. Okay, so that's the gravy. Now I need a sharp knife. I mean, maybe you'll show the people how you make the gravy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash this knife off and sharpen it. Maybe if I have time. If, if I, maybe I will, because I might still have time before, before um, <clears throat> I'm going off, because I'm not going to keep you all, not going to keep you like I did last week. No, we're not, we're not staying here like that. So you need a nice sharp knife. And I've been sharpening this before, but I'm going to sharpen it again. Okay, I'm going to. It's very dangerous. I'm gonna sharpen this bad boy again to make sure it's nice and sharp. <coughs> I can see that you can see me. Get it nice and sharp. I don't have one of those. Well, you should get one. Uh, I mean, I don't really. You have things, like... well, if you're gonna be in my kitchen, you're gonna have to start cooking, and you need a sharp knife. And it's better always, always, always better. To have a sharp knife than a dull knife, because a dull knife you will cut yourself with. So make sure your knife is sharp. So whatever I you hear do, what you're saying. Whatever you do, make sure it's sharp. Now I need to get something to put this in. Start my little. Start my escapade over here. Okay, I'm gonna get my your escapade. Yep. Who are you, Janet Jackson? I guess I'm Janet Jackson. I'm better than Janet Jackson. That's what Jackson, I know. Janet Jackson had a song called Escapade. Clearly, you're not a Janet Jackson fan. Oh, uh, clearly. Clearly. Clearly, I'm not. That's how I uh, ended up meeting Daryl. Huh? They played the first, I don't know, few notes of the song on the radio, and they won, like, tickets to the Janet Jackson concert. Do you remember that? So who did you go with? I went with Gary. I think I do remember that. And yeah. I was picking up my tickets from the city. And since it was already there, I ended up going to the place that they met Daryl at. Let's see if I can figure out. You gotta go against the green. Let's see if this is against the green. I think so. Yes, I think I found against the green. You gotta cut this against the green. Turkey tips and fries, yummy. Huh? Who's Turkey tips and fries. Who's doing that? That's the name Bert of Bert is what he, is what he said. Yummy. Huh. Turkey tips, tips and fries. Like mm. tips of the wings. Turkey tips and fries. Now I love turkey and the skin has to be crispy, says Joy. Well on on the on the one that's in that oven, the skin is gonna be crispy. But the one that's in this thing. The skin does not come out crispy. So do you what, put it in the oven just to crisp it up or not? Nah. Nah. I don't. And it's darker than I thought it would be. Yeah, I think I, I could have. Yeah, the hair goes. Some parts of it is definitely done, and other parts are medium, at least medium. They may be medium well. I mean medium, medium, medium. So when I get to the middle, yeah, see? See how you see it? I see. It's starting, they are starting to turn. It's starting to get its nice body color. <laughs> now it's been sitting out on the table for a good hour. A good hour. Yeah, see? See, there you go. I, I should have taken it all out of the oven. I backed thing. up some of my summer clothes. Did you? Yes, summer's done. Don't you think? Yeah, that's a good idea. They have them mostly all up. Except whatever, you know. It's not only summer, it's that fall is kind of done too. No, don't say that. Fall like, why do you want to be a hater? Fall is kind of done here. It's hot at work. You Let's can't see. just dress so thickly. Oh, that's true. It's hot in my job too. Let's, let me give it. 
I tell you two. Sharing is caring. You don't want to tell me it's too salty. I will not. Is it too salty? The reason you would say that is only because you think it's salty, Joe. No, I don't think it's salty at all. But you always tell me it's salty. It's not salt. It's maybe the gravy is that makes it salty because the meat itself isn't good. Okay, see, I didn't make it. I didn't make it salty. I didn't make it salty at all. The gravy, we'll have to see. The gravy might need a little pinch more salt, in my opinion. But, of course, you probably might say no. Alright, so I'm just gonna stir up my. My uh, my nice. Rosewood said it's oh garlic. Sauce. Oh, is that garlic in the meat? It is. Yes, it is. And she says yummy. Yes, it is. With two birds cooking, mm -hmm. did you spatchcock one? Nope. Have you ever? My next That's turkey. Not. My next turkey will be prepped that way. Just no, have to figure out how I can stuff. Like cornbread dressing under the bird. That uh, was what DK said. Yeah, you could, you could, you could do that, but I still wouldn't. Uh, I don't like to stuff. St I did stuff my turkey, but I stuffed it with fruit and vegetables. So I don't you know. I don't. They say that's not a great idea to put it in that way. So I really don't do that. But off, if you were gonna do that, you would just put the stuffing down first, and then put that, put the um, the turkey on top. And then put it in the oven and let it go. But just because of what they be talking about with the salmonella and all that, I stopped stuffing my turkey. And it cooks faster when you do not stuff it like that. So it really kind of cooks. Joy fast. says, I get so hungry watching your shows. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, young lady. Thank you. So this has been on for like 10 minutes. I'm going to leave it on like maybe another five more minutes. I'm gonna, let it, I'm gonna let it cook for another five more minutes. Stop popping, thank goodness. And meanwhile, back at the OK Corral, I'm gonna finish cutting my roast beef. Folks like this roast beef, boy. I do too. I'm uh, so behind in all of our shows. Are you up to date? Uh, I didn't watch the Oval yet. I didn't watch Sisters, the Oval, the I other watched, one with the, I watched the heiress or whatever she is. Oh, like, that, what is that called? I don't know. I think Perry watch Perry always Perry don't never be. The only thing I'm up to date on is insecure. Perry's never behind in his shows. Well, Perry has a lot of time. Yeah, he does. He does. But and anyway, what I was talking about with, before we can get back to the show, but what I was thinking is So have you decided that you're gonna get the step in bathtub? Um if I put it in the the other bathroom. It's going to cost five thousand dollars just for the tub, right? And then it's going to cost I don't know how much money to tile a tub. Which to what? Still, tile? To put tile? Yeah, to put tile around the tub. Can't you just get whatever basic tile the tub comes with? It doesn't come with tub. It comes in one of those one piece. It comes like one of those one piece things. So that which is not tile. So therefore, you're going to have to buy tile if you do that, and you have to tile it all up. And you know, get the shower in there and all that stuff. And it ends up costing <coughs> probably the same thing it would cost to have a standalone tub and add and add the space to to the um to the uh, owner suite. So, so are you thinking of getting a standalone tub? So and just what a stool or something to get in? Like what what, what is I, my my thought about that was? Am I really gonna take baths that often? Just like when I put the jacuzzi in, the, in you know, in, 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 up here. I mean, Am I you can't really? go by me. I take a bath at least once, twice, three times a week. You do? I do. Wow. So I guess you will go downstairs and do that, huh? Because there is no bathtub up here. I know. I don't know, though. If it's not immediately up here, then maybe I won't. I have no idea. So for me, though, I, th I said to myself, well, am I going to really take a bath like that? You know, am I really going to do that? And I thought about resale value. Okay? So the loft, I'm, if I get a half a loft, which is what I'm going to get anyway, uh, the difference between a half a loft and a full loft is about $6,000. I'm thinking that I might just get a full loft. 
instead of the half, half a walk. Half. Instead of the half, instead of the the walk and the walk outside. and talk. Yeah, just for resale value because it makes more sense. Like only I would want this in my in my house. You know, only I would want that. It's not like I mean I don't know if this is gonna be your final house. I think you should have what you want in it and not worry about resale value so much. I but, think you know how to well I worry about. I don't worry about it, but I'm but I'm a businesswoman. And it don't make sense to do that. If it was I already feel, I feel like you should have what you want in your house. Like mm, I don't know. I I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking long I'm thinking uh, on a long term situation. I don't know. Cause I really don't know whether I'm gonna really get in, in the bathtub like that. I mean you definitely it. won't if you don't have one. Well, I did have one. Piece? I did have one, and I didn't do that. There you go. Well, I don't know. I would have. I, I didn't get in the jacuzzi that I had. And plus, it's hard to clean. It was hard to clean that thing. You got to clean that A regular thing. tub is not like the jacuzzi, though. Yeah, but the but the, 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 the walk-in tub has jacuzzi jets in it. So it's like jacuzzi. Mm. And that thing's hard to clean. So I don't know. I, mean, I don't think I'm going to be in it if I have to clean it all the time. Knowing me, because I ain't got to clean stuff all the time. So, that's my thing. And I'm like, well, for, for, for resale value, that would make sense. And you cannot, you cannot make the loft bigger once you already decide on the loft you're going to have. You can't make it bigger. So, it needs to be done while they're building the house. That's good. The clean is more salt. It really... It doesn't need more salt. It'll be salt in the gravy for people. I'll be putting some salt in the gravy. I'll be putting some salt in the gravy. It is good though. And the pieces where like, thank you. Mm -hmm. The pieces where there's like little pieces of garlic, garlic mm -hmm. exceptional. She likes the pieces with the garlic, people. She likes the pieces with the garlic. There's the buzzer. Let me turn this off. So, you turn it off. There's not a lot of fat on this. Thank goodness for Costco. You know, I think it costs like 45 bucks. Probably about 50 bucks. You know how sometimes there's a lot of fat on it? Mm-hmm. But it's really not a lot of fat on this one. Okay, let me see. Stop. There you go. All right. So, let me finish cutting this up. And then I'm gonna get me a pot and make this gravy while the rest of this still is cooking here. I got nine minutes left on and on that one. And I got to check it. You know, guys, I gotta keep checking to make sure nothing gets overcooked and everything is, is cooked correctly, especially on a turkey or, or roast beef. You wanna make you always got to go back and check. You know, check the uh, temperature on everything. So I'm going back on the temperature and see what, what, what comes of this. I miss Ned, man. This is Ned's job. It's Ned's job. I give this job to Bert. Bert, this is your job. It's your job to, to slice this sucker up for me. <laughs> for the holidays, it's your job. I'm trying to make it as thinner, thinner than I don't want big hunks. Try to get it as thin as I can. Um, this is my brother Ronnie's favorite. Ronnie and Stanley and Junior, I think, really like the roast beef. Who doesn't so, like roast beef? And I'm going to put some of the gravy right on top. Anyway on top of it all. That's how I usually do it, and that's what I'm gonna do. There is no difference. That's how, that's how this is gonna roll. Come on, get over here, out my way. Okay. So the, the, those so turkeys- So you're not going to get the top, is what you've decided. I've kind of decided that I'm not gonna get the top. Kind of decided that. I mean, if I was here, would I get that tub? 
No, I, I took the tub out for a reason. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't get the tub. Hey guys, I like taking baths, but I haven't taken a, like a bath in a long time. It's very hard for me to get in and out of the tub anyway, so that's why I don't do it. I just run into the shower, take a nice shower, and the only thing I want to do is soak my feet. Of which case, I will soak my feet in my foot soaker that I have, you know. Or, if I do want to really take a shower, a bath, I mean, I'll ask Perry to help me get in and out of that thing. That's what I'll do. And I'll just get in the regular old bathtub. Because for resale, I think it makes more sense. So you're going to have a shower and a standalone regular bathtub is what you've decided? No, I mean, I meant the second bathroom is going to be as is. And that has a bathtub? That has a bathtub. Yes. Second shower already has a bathtub. So, you I'm know. Sure you could use a little whatever, step or something to get yourself in and out. Yeah, but it's, it's my knees that don't bend. It's my knees. I can't get, you know, I, you got to, I got to turn around, get up get myself up out of that bathtub and, and my knees don't bend my knees really don't bend like they should and once um, I go get my unless I go get my knees done you should which I probably should do maybe but I don't want to have no operation either so that was my thought of the day particularly about so that. you'd rather just be in chronic pain that doesn't make sense well I'm be moving around people get People have gotten their knees done and they're still in, in pain. They're still in pain. So that doesn't stop anything. They're still in pain. So there we go. I have to use this when I use my hand at this point. This is almost, I got a big old chunk now. Big old hunky chunk of, of meat left, but not. You're using your fingers? Yes. You should be careful with your fingers. I, I am. My fingers are on top. They're not near the knife. Yeah. What else is happening? Uh, not a whole lot. What else is happening with you guys? Y'all are ready to go to somebody's house now? Are y'all going to people's houses? What's happening with you guys? Y'all going to people's houses for um the, for Thanksgiving? I like Thanksgiving better than Christmas. I personally like Thanksgiving better than Christmas. Who out there likes Thanksgiving better than Christmas? I do. Do you? Yes, I do. It's about family. Thanksgiving is really about family. Christmas is about presents mostly, but Thanksgiving is about family. And you coming together with, to be with your family or friends, and have a good have a good time together, have a good day together, and that's what I like about Thanksgiving. Much, 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 much better than Christmas. Okay. Christmas, you know, put the Christmas tree up and drive yourself nuts, trying to get the tree up, trying to get uh, presents done, trying to get everything done before before um, December twenty fifth, because if not, you're gonna turn into a witch or something. You know, which is a problem right now when you think about it. That's why everybody's so upset about the supply chain because they're all trying to get something done before Christmas. What happens if you don't get it done before Christmas? Get it done after Christmas if you need to. You know, that's, your, that's not what Christmas should be about. So for me, for sure, look how much meat that is. <laughs> Um, Joyce says that big chunk should be just for you. Yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about that. I think I'm gonna just cut it up because I can't. I can't get it thinner than that. I don't think. I don't think I can get it thinner. So, I really don't think I can. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Maybe just cut it like in half. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna probably kind of do it that way. Look at, look at all that. Look at all that goodness all over that. Look at that. That's Looks going delicious. Right, right there. So I'm going to cut it in strips at this point. Yeah. Chris says, I will be with my parents. Thankful for having them this year. They are Amen. elderly. Amen. 
Um, Rosebud says, I'm putting up my tree on Friday. Yeah. So it's probably Daryl Hawkins. I don't think we're putting the tree up. I think we're just going to decorate the window like All we right. did last year. Because um, very shortly after that, I got so many things to do. Ron Wilson Christmas. says it's an eating holiday. Is that Uncle Ronnie? Hey, Ron. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. I'm, I got your favorite here. <laughs> I got your favorite here. You got to come pick it up on Wednesday, Ron. Who calls you that? I guess it's his friends. Who? Huh? I like, I don't think of him as Ron. Who called me what? Who calls him that? I don't think of him that way. As Ron? Ron. I mean, everybody calls him, I mean, we didn't call him Ron because he's my brother. So, we called him Ronnie. Guess that's what we called him. But we didn't call him Ron, but every, I mean, his name's not Ronnie either. You know like, that. I know what his name is, right? So, it's just so Ron is just, it's like people call me Steph. People do call me Steph. Most people call me Steph. They don't. They, they make your name shorter. Do you ever get called sh Sure? No, I don't. I don't respond to my shortened name. I don't like it. Look at you. Listen at you. <laughs> this is how you are. Okay, it's already thickening up, man. This looks good. This is thickening. All you gotta do is put it in the refrigerator and it's gel. I'm gonna show you. See how hot that is. That's it. That's the cranberry sauce right there. Ronnie just said something. That's the cranberry sauce. It's gonna go in the I'll be room. there with bells on and all my professional friends call me Ron. Okay, Uncle Ronnie, like I'm just saying. <laughs> See, That's you're, foreign you're, for me. You're still Uncle Ronnie to her. <laughs> you're still Uncle Ronnie to her. All right, but I gotta get in here with the, with this, uh, and make some, Gravy. Gotta make some gravy now. Uh, that ends. Hold, hold on. That ends it. That should be good. I think it is. It looks really good. It's Ooh, it's so pretty. It's beautiful. You should really think of. Oh, you don't have your phone. It's beautiful. It Can y'all see? You see that? Gorgeous. You see that in the oven right there? Let me see. I gotta get it out. Hmm. Two. I'm trying to do three things at once. Before I get it out though, I just move this back here. Maybe move your pan of already cut meat back to the table where it was. Yeah, I'm gonna move you out the way. Get some, so I make my gravy you hang out right there. That's why I need, I need like space. And I'm gonna move this part out of the way for the time being. You're not gonna put any of that dripping back into the thing? I could, I could. Well, I'm just trying to be helpful. You're trying to be helpful, huh? I'm going to put some... Put the, break, the good, break the good right on back in there. Before I wash it away. Alright, now. You go here. Go for today. Says, right oh my gosh, what are you making? I just popped in to say hello. Hey, Jill. She is prepping for Thanksgiving. She is in the middle of making turkey meat for the roast beef that she just cut. And she's about to take the turkey out of I gotta take a tip the though. Hour. I'm in. I'm taking a tip. It looks done. You don't yeah, you won't know by that. You have to actually take a tip. Mm. You can't know by that. So we're gonna take a tip. Of the turkey, are we, there, there's the turkey right here. I'm gonna pull it out so you guys can absolutely see. But I'm going in by, you know what? This is also another spot. I'm going in this way because that is the um, the thigh, and it is at 185. Oh, it's done. Jill for today says you're amazing. Oh. Joy says I need to grab my tater tots. I'm salivating over here. <laughs> oh yeah, this turkey done. This turkey is done. Okay, I'm gonna pull my turkey out so you guys can see. You guys can see what 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 I got going on here. So this is hot. Put something on my table. It is hot. So I'm moving. It looks really good. Put it right there. Let's 
Oh, it's done. Was? Yeah. The, the, breath, the top was 185, but a little bit. So it's way done. It's done. And I'm going to check this one. This girl over here, too. Because that's the point of the whole thing. So, so where, are, girls, where are you going to put them to rest their little heads? I got to move them onto the table to rest their little heads. That's what I guess I got to do. But let me get it. First, I'm going to get it out. I'm going to take her out of here. So, so you all can see a picture of her. Okay. There she go. That's it. Ooh, it smells so good. Can't smell anything. It smells good. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it smells good. Let me get y'all so y'all can see. That looks good though. Now see, what you do at this point is you need to tent it so that all the juices stay in for it's, you know, while we're, while we're getting ready for the rest. So I'm going to move some of the stuff out of my way. Get it out of my way. I'm gonna tint it, because it needs to be tinted. Come on. You gotta tint it with some foil. Uh, okay. Where's your foil? Here's my foil. I'm gonna tint it with foil, only tint it loosely, and let it sit around for a minute, for a few, at least an hour. I'm gonna let it sit for like an hour. So all the juices run right back in. You're not cold. No, I'm not cold at all. I'm not cold at all. I'm hot. No, oh, man. I'm quite not cold. at all. And then it's the eating so. I don't know why. Well, you obviously still don't feel well. But I am not cold. So I'm going to move this. Let me put you right here for a moment. I'm going to move you on to right over here. Cause I got it now. I got it. now. We gotta look into this one over here. See what you looking like. Which one went on first? Oh, uh, they kind of both went on at the same time, but they went on late. Okay. Why? What were you doing? I was trying to figure out this this contraption. So, and then I was also trying to season it all. So there that we go. Doesn't really look done. It may not look done, but it probably is. Cause it's like so white over here. Well, that's what happens when you use this one. It's white looking. It's not brown. It gets brown when you put when you take off uh, everything. Mm, we at one sixty. That seems it still says one sixty. Oh, look at the juice coming out. Let's try you. What what's what what's up with you? Something I'm hitting that's 169, which means that one is that sign is good. Wait, what are you hitting? What am I hitting? Let me try you right here. That's 177. That's done. You're not gonna try the side that looks all white and pale. What this side? Yes. It's one sixty-six, sixty-seven. It's done. It's just the color, but it's fine. It's really done. This is 170 right here. It's done. It's done, it's done. I just want to make sure I got, come here, on you, your side. If you guys can see that, I know you can see it. You see, I, I put, I just put fruit, uh, vegetables and fruit and stuff in here just to help give it a nice flavor. Let's see. Yeah, that's one. That's one seventy. That's good. Let me just get right there. What is that? Carrot. Yeah, got carrots in here and one seventy two. This is done. This is done. This is done. The other one looks way better. But the other one does 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 for appearances. The other one does look better and is better. The top is one sixty, like right where I'm. Whatever I got right here seems to be 160, 169. This side is great. Well, 165. Yeah, you know what? I think it's done. Even here, 160 for the breast is good. Mhm. Mm I believe the, the the thighs are good. This is Ethel's for favorite part, the butt. She likes that. My sister likes the butt. 
Um, okay, so. Joy wants to know, is this the last cooking um, that I'm going to be doing? You'll be doing. No, ma'am. Tomorrow, whew, tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing mashed potatoes, potato salad. Uh, I did the peach cobbler. So it's mashed potatoes, potato salad, and yams. I think I'm, that should be the end of all my stuff. And then after that, I'm going to do, on Tuesday, I'm going to start doing, on Tuesday, I'm going to start my uh, cakes. Because everything got to be done by, uh, by Wednesday. So Tuesday, I'll be doing my cakes. Tomorrow, it's mashed potatoes, yams, but you all... The yams are going to, when I get them started, they'll just be, they'll be going. They'll be the, on, you know, they'll cook by themselves. So, um, the mashed potatoes I'm putting in my pressure cooker to get them done, and I'm going to mash them up. That's quick enough. And I'm doing potato salad, which is also kind of quick enough. If I got time and I begin to feel like it, then I'm going to make one of the pound cakes. I'm making one pound, one of my pound cakes and two of my, lemon mascarpone uh pound cakes lemon coconut mascarpone pound cakes because those they love those things so i'm gonna make two of those one pound cake and one chocolate cake the the, the mascarpone uh cakes will be done on uh on tuesday and the uh chocolate cake will be done on tuesday and then i'm done <laughs> I ran the race and i'm done so that's what i'm gonna do i had to get it done all before tuesday so with this, I'm gonna leave it here. That's sitting, that's sitting there ready to get cut. Now the only before I let y'all go, what I'm gonna do is start uh, start the um the gravy. So I need a pot. I need a big old pot. It's the biggest pot I got. Actually, I could use one of them, but I have to climb up here to get it. Uh, I need that right there. Okay, guys, I gotta pull out. I gotta pull out my my uh, what's this thing called? My ladder. Get my big. Pot out of here. I put them up there and said, I don't know if I need them, but I do need them. So I got to get my big pot up here. <sighs> you know, it's a small kitchen, but it got a lot of space to put stuff. You just have to use a ladder. <laughs> if you want to use the stuff I you got. I definitely need a ladder. Oh, yeah, you, you need a ladder. I need a step ladder to clean out my. You need a step ladder to get into the laundry, right? Well, I've been using my stick to get the laundry out, but yes, technically. Oh. That's the pot you're using? Yep. There's no lid for it. I don't need a lid. I'm going to use this pot to pour, and pour my goodies in there. So I wanted a big pot. Let me come over here so you guys can see. <sighs> that pot's not that big. The other pot that you have on the stove is bigger than that. I know. But... Right now it's being occupied. But it's bigger than like the, you know, the, the three quart pot and stuff. So in, in goes the juice right now. Onion and all, everything. Everything is in here. You should use a spoon, there's still onions trapped in the oil paper. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Simpson. <laughs> I am, or I won't. I do it like that. I do it like this. And that's that. All foil, most of this doesn't need a whole lot of cleanup. Thank you, Jesus, for foil paper. Thank you, Jesus, for Sonia foil paper. Alice says hello. Hey, Kasonia. And there we go. You gotta get all of this out. Look, I love this. I'm gonna full paper myself to death. My yeah. mother even used hair yeah. mm -hmm. I don't listen. When you gotta cook like that, look, look at this. Look at that roasting pan. Absolutely beautiful. That's what we're talking about. I ain't got to be clean. You gotta clean after you do all of this cooking. So, I mean, I try to make my life as nice and as, as possible. So Come on over here. We're done. All right. Let me put this in a garbage can. And then I'll show you what I'm doing next. It's in the garbage can. 
move you over here because I'm going to mess you off. So get you in the dishwasher. Get you out of here too. Let me wash your hands a minute. Now, out and the kids are still out? Well, it's not really late. It's only 5 o'clock, so <laughs> those kids be out. <laughs> those chilling be out. Okay, guys, there we go. I'm over here at the stove again. I'm going to move you out the way. I got to get I gotta get something to put you in. But that's coming up next. Now, here we go. What I'm going to put in here for extra flavor, I'm gonna put this in for extra flavor. Beef. That's my beef. That's gonna. This is gonna give it definitely some more salty taste. So I'm gonna put a little. And this is called. This is called gourmet soup and gravy base. So you put a little of this in your drippings, and there you go. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit. Won't take long anyway. Doesn't take long to do to do this. So I'm gonna put like a, uh, I'm gonna put that much in here. Which that'll salt thing make it salty right there. Rose butts, what she said. Pop pop would call us <laughs> chilling. <laughs> yep, chilling. Us chilling. That's <laughs> what you laughing at. That's right, us us chilling. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like my dad too. <laughs> You chilling? What did my father used to say? Y'all doing the, the jitterbug? Y'all out there jitterbugging? <laughs> like, what are, you, like, what are you talking about jitterbugging? You know, listen, that's when we was out there dancing our butts off in the street. <laughs> but daddy would say, y'all out there jitterbugging? <laughs> what y'all doing that? Jitterbugging stuff. Jitterbug. Well, we really didn't know what that meant. <laughs> so we laughed at daddy. <laughs> but that was definitely my dad. You chilling out there, dinner bugging. Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna put this over here. So dad, I'm, I'm laughing with you. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna turn it on. And what we wanna do there is get it to a boil. So uh, he was the only one, I loved it. <laughs> That's right, you chilling? You chilling out here? <laughs> well, shoot, my daddy would beat everybody out there if they did something crazy. Like we did some crazy stuff. My father would beat us all. All of us, our, friend, our friends, everybody got a, got a from dad. I'm telling you. And you didn't do that no more. I'll tell you that. So it's a shame you don't have this anymore. But all you need sometimes is, and you straighten up. Then, all, then, then, then after that is to look. If they look at you like that, yo, you better back up. <laughs> what? You better back up. That's how it is, man. So, so now what I, I can I can do this either way. I could put I could put um cornstarch or you know what I think I'm gonna do cornstarch today. I usually use um flour because that's what my mother used, but I think I'm gonna do cornstarch today. So let's see what we got. Got some cornstarch I know. Come on, cornstarch. I got some on the table, but I thought I had some right here. Come on, cornstarch. Where you at? Where you at, cornstarch? I thought I had some that was already open, but I might have gotten here. Might be done. You used some the other day oh. when we were for the gravy and for the yams. Oh, that's right. cornstarch for the yams, by the way. That's right. So I have some more cornstarch. I didn't want to open up new. I didn't want to open it up for new. So I'm going to use some cornstarch and some water and make some paste out of it. So I got cornstarch right there. I got the Walmart brand, but it's okay. So cornstarch, and I'm going to use some. I'm gonna get a container here. Okay, where is? Did I put it in here? No, I didn't. I had the thing with only water in it. But I just didn't want to throw it out to have to wash it. Cause here we go. Cause I'm gonna use it again. It only have water in it. So I got my measuring cup right here. And let's see, I'm gonna do like uh, 
one, two, and some water. It's nice cold water. Get it over here out the refrigerator. Make it even better. Got like a half a cup of water. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. Let me see. I want y'all to see what I'm doing while it's getting hot. All right. I'm going to stir that up over there because you can't see. Where we go. So this is my cornstarch and water. Like a half a cup of water and some cornstarch. That's what we're doing here. And that's coming to a boil. I wish I had this over here so y'all could see the inside of the pot. But it's coming to a boil. Why? I can hear it. I hear when I'm when I'm cooking, you gotta listen. If you hear something bubbling and stuff, then you know it's time. If you, especially if you don't put a timer on, then you know it's time. And this is not. I'm gonna be using this cup again because I need to make gravy for for my uh, turkeys. So this is how we doing this. I can't wait till I'm done. My feet are already hurting. My feet are bothering me. So I can't be nobody's caterer right now. I'm too old to be catering stuff. All right, I hear it. It's bubbling, but it's bubbling, but not like I want it to come to a rapid boil. Rapid boil. And then what I'm gonna do is temper it. After it comes to a rapid boil, I'm gonna put some of the uh, of the juice inside of this to stir it up and temper it. Then I'm gonna pour it in. And that's kind of how you magically make gravy. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Not a big deal. I'm gonna stir this up. Come on, girl. Come on, feet. Start moving. Got to get you there. 25 miles from home, girl. Your brother said, preach, sister, preach. <laughs> yeah. And Rosebud said that was the nonverbal communication yep our elders used yeah you gotta listen like use your ears and listen so you need to kind of quiet or you need to be like you need to be able to concentrate while you're cooking so i'm letting that oh now it's coming to a nice boil i don't know i'm gonna let, see how y'all can see me over there there we go there you go so it's coming to a nice boil right over here Yes, definitely. It's about to boil over. There you go. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the juice from, I'm going to take a little juice here from the, from the, uh, from, from the pot and I'm tempering it. I'm going to put it a little bit in here. That's what, and that's called tempering it. Tempering your, um, your, uh, your, your, your fluid so that when you put it back in, you don't really get the lumps. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna temper it a little bit. And then we pour it in. And see if we get some gravy out of this bad boy. Now you let it go. Let's see if I can get some gravy. Let's thicken it up, thicken it up. So in about a minute or so, it should start thickening up. But mama would use flour. Mama used flour and she just did basically the same thing. She put some, she put the uh, flour in a cup with some cold water and mixed it all up to almost a paste-like consistency. That was a little thin in my, in my opinion. And she put it like that and, it, and then it turned into uh, some gravy. Then they have this stuff, which I think I still have. Joanna okay. wants to know how's the cobbler going? Uh, this cobbler's gonna be in here for a minute. This pop, this cobbler's gonna be in here for a minute. Um, it's but it's not spilling on anything, which is great. But it's got a while to go. I'm gonna keep this in a good until at least six o'clock before I take off the cover and let it go all the way down. It's gonna be in 6 30, 6 6.30-ish. It's gonna sit in there. At least that long. At least that long. Where is that stuff I have? Oh, here it is. It is chilly. Huh? It is chilly. It's not chilly. I got the windows open. Maybe that's why. 
This is also will thicken up your gravy. It's called Wondra. And you just sprinkle this in, it'll thicken it right up. So if I don't have enough cornstarch, then this Wondra I'm gonna throw in. If it don't get thick enough, that guy like it. I still find it thin. That's why I usually use flour, but I find it thin. And so I'm going to thick it up with some Wondra. And you just, you really sift this right in here like that. That's all you do. You sift it right in, like I'm doing right now, guys. I don't know if you guys can see me. But you just sift it right in. They got this in a lot of stores. Most certainly, they have it at um, Walmart. You just sift it in, and you let it, and you let it go. What happens with flour, though, it kind of makes more lumps than... Um, than cornstarch does. But it gets nice and thick. So you wanna you wanna let it go until it gets thick and you you know get the, the flour taste kind of out of it. And then you've got some gravy. So I'm gonna let it keep going. Let it boil, 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 boil. I didn't put no extra water in here, nothing. This is all from the drippings from this from that tur from that uh, roast beef. So once this gets done, I'm gonna let you guys go. Cause I'll be here doing other I'll be here doing other things, like cutting that turkey up. I have to cut my turkey up. I gotta cut the turkeys, both of them, um, and make gravy for those. And then I might eat something and then I got to put everything away. So once that thing gets kind of done, once it's almost once it's done, once the gravy gets like gravy, which is almost there. I'm gonna let you guys go. You've been with me for over an hour, almost just about two hours, and I think that's enough, guys. I'm glad you're still with me, though. I'm glad. I'm glad all of you guys who's hanging out there are still hanging. I appreciate that. So, and if you, <laughs> if I could have had, if I could have had you guys with me from the very beginning of the day, y'all would have been with me since 12 o'clock at least after I ate my breakfast around 12 issues when I got started cooking everything. And yesterday, I, I, I seasoned my um, roast beef because I prefer to do that. I prefer to season it the day before and let all the seasoning get through. And you would have seen me season these turkeys of which I put butter under the skin. And I used the ranch dressing, that powder ranch dressing with butter, mix it together and push, put it all underneath the skin all on top of it. Plus, I put some onions and. Did you use any of that Stu Leonard stuff? No, I didn't. Mm -mm. That could have been good. Yeah, I probably was gonna. I forgot about it because I used my own my own situation. Then I threw some garlic in the in the cavity and some uh, some sage and uh, thyme and rosemary. All that I put it in the cavity of of the uh, turkey and some oranges and some apples and uh, some celery and carrots, all in the cavity of the turkey. And then, and then she goes on and cooks. So that's what I did, but you guys would have saw that. So you guys just taking, you know, really kind of getting the end of the turkey, which that, that, that turkey right there is absolutely beautiful, beautiful. And I put it in, first I covered it up and I put the oven on like 450 for about 45 minutes. I had it in there about 45 minutes at that high temperature. I turned it down to 325 and it, and it cooked very well. So one thing about that little oven, for the most part, the uh, temperature is excellent on, on that, that little electric oven thing right there. Um, you know, your, your gas oven got that iffiness going on, but that, that thing works very well. So, hmm, I always like to go, hmm, when I use that oven. I still like to cook with gas, but baking with gas, no, I don't know. They can with gas, the, the, that thing is so, it just works well. So I happen to really like that a lot. Okay, you're bubbling over here. What you doing? You're bubbling over here. You ain't real thick. You're still not real thick. But you're thickening up. Yeah. If I let this boil down, it'll get thicker, which is what I'm gonna do. Let it boil down. And every, every time as it's boiling down, you know what? I need to kind of take a taste and see if it's if it's salty enough. 
Uh, Joy, I hope you had, uh, had a wonderful holiday. You are amazing. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. I appreciate that. And I really, really do. I'm going to taste this. I'm going to give this a taste. Come here, come here. To make sure it's not too... It's not too... It, it's not... I you know, it got enough salt to me. Shavita probably will say it's too salty. But I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Why are you presuming that's what I say? Because that's what you usually say. That's what you usually say. Let's see if you, let's see if, if, if we'll be right. I don't know. Are you right? Here you go. It's hot. It's hot. Mm. It's hot. It's not really salty. May I have? Do you want more salt? You think I should put a little more salt in it or what? Um, maybe a slight bit. A, pin a pinch more salt, she says. A pinch. What, you feel like it needed more salt? I did, but you know, I'll never tell you. Because you think it's all the salt. So I, I'm going to put just a pinch facts, more. Mommy. Put just a pinch more salt. In here. So that's what it means, a little bit more. Just a teeny bit more. That's what you do. You have to taste it and make sure it's going to be good. Now, because I personally feel that the meat needs a little more salt, but Shavita says no. So, and I, I, I can't over salt things, especially around the holidays, because my mother made it salty. And I could taste the salt in her food. So I guess that's what I'm trying to do right now. But Sharita stops me, which I guess is also a good thing. But I'll put just a little bit more salt in. And here we go. And I think once I do this, we'll be done. I got the right taste there. Yeah. I taste the salt. I taste the salt there. Mm-hmm. What about you? I'm gonna take let you taste the salt. I'm gonna let you taste the salt. I will. You know what? I'm also gonna put some onion powder and stuff in there. I'm gonna put a little onion powder and garlic powder in it, in it too. That is, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's not very. Why is it so thin? Cause it's it's still getting thick. Onion powder. That would be very helpful. Uh, some onions and herbs. Some onion and herb. <laughs> Peggy Daniel says, hey, Peggy Miss Daniel. Stephanie, we love being with you and your family. You are a wonderful teacher. I want to watch you cut up the birds. <laughs> you want to hang out with me and, and until, I hang, until I cut the birds up? Well, if you want to hang out, then we can hang out. We can certainly hang out. That'll, that'll work. And then Rosebud says, well, Break is over. Everyone enjoy your Thanksgiving. I'll see you next time. Okay, Rosebud. Thanks for thanks for coming. I appreciate that. I appreciate well, you all really the time. Like, huh? What's my mouth is like? I'm very hot. Yeah, of course it's hot. You didn't blow it? No. Why didn't you blow it? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Give me the, the spoon. I'm going to rinse it and I'm going to taste it. Now, I added some more, some more seasoning. Not just, there's a person in there. I mean, Perry's coming in. See, it's getting thick. It's as, as it boils, it gets thick. Okay? I don't know. People's cars, man. They pop right. I don't understand it. But, yes, I do understand it in a sense. It's getting crowded around here. That's what I know.
That helped. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna give it to Shamita. That helped. That helped. That helped. And you're gonna give wax, man. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give this to you to taste. Are you? Yes. But well, blow it. Blow it. Okay. Truthfully, I want a little more of this in there. Truthfully, I want a little more beef gravy in there. Honest. Honest, honest, honest. Not a lot, but I think it needs a little more beef gravy. Honest, honest, honest. This stuff is wonderful. This stuff is wonderful. But it's salty. But it's good. Really good. Like a beef bouillon cube would, would have helped too. A nice beef bouillon cube. You don't have that better than beef bouillon? I do. I could have put some of that in there too. That would have helped a lot. But now it's getting thick. Hey, Mr. Perry. Oh, I've got to have a show today. Yeah, we're doing a show. Perry's in the house. Perry's in the house. Perry's in the house. Hello. I've been better. Oh, snap. Don't feel bad. You feel better. Thank you. It just is better. I told it to him. This is to me. He told it. He told it. And it it's going to get better. He told it, and it's going to get better. It is. <laughs> it's going to feel real good. He told it, and it's going to get better. Okay, it is definitely getting thicker. And I'm tasting it all the way. I put a little bit more of uh, the beef stuff in here. Wow, there's 18 people watching us right now. Oh, it's salty. Don't salty. be strangers. Salty to me. It's definitely salty. That stuff is salty. It's salty now? Mm-hmm. So you add some water. I am. I'm adding a little water. But it tastes good. It tastes good, and it's definitely thick. We will add some water. Do you have water in your tea kettle? Yes. Why? You use the electric kettle all the time. Well, I still use it. Like in times like this. Times like this, I use it. Are you liking your Keurig better? Huh? Are you liking your Keurig better? Yes, because I make my own coffee in my way. I don't like those. I don't like those Keurig cup, cups. Oh, really? That's what I had been ordering from Amazon. The Keurig cups? Different types. Like, I ordered some teas. And, and what do you think about them? The tea? A anything that you've ordered. What do you think? I really like the cinnamon bun one. Yeah. I like the Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the Tootsie Roll cocoa. Uh-huh. The coffees are the coffees are okay. Um, I like a little more water then. Um, I like the. Um, it's still salty, but I think it's gonna be a compliment to the food because that is not salty at all. Look, I think it'll be a compliment to this meat. Salty. Listen to me. You just were happy when you made it salty. Listen to me. See? That's what I knew you was going to say. That's what I knew she was going to say. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, you're feeding people it. with, like, hypertension and stuff. I put a little bit of gravy on there because the meat is not salty. Right? It works with the meat. It works with the meat. That's right. It'll work with everything else if I don't put too much salt on whatever else you're gonna put it on. But it is good. It is good, right? It's good. I'll, if I try it with the meat, it's good. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. That's good. Where, That's good. Where's stuffing? Downstairs. I made stuffing yesterday too. 
The stuffing's already ready. Everything is ready. Except I gotta do a couple things tomorrow and the cakes on Tuesday. But I did everything. So the only vegetable you made was collard greens. And string beans and, and potatoes. String beans. Really string beans and collard greens. String beans mixed with potatoes is what I made. And collard greens. Yes. Why? 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 You wanna make something else? You can make something else. If I made something else, it would be Brussels sprouts. Well, go ahead and make some Brussels sprouts. I don't know if people like that other than themselves. I, I'll eat your Brussels sprouts. I will eat your Brussels sprouts. It's going to have pork in it. Well, I, I'll certainly eat your Brussels sprouts. All right, so that's the gravy. That's done. Uh, How long you been sitting here? How long have you been sitting around? I don't know, not that long. I don't think. What are you going to do about the one that's there? Huh? What are you going to do about the one that's there? You're just leaving it? Help did you me. turn it off? I did. I thought. Is it still on? Oh, no, it's still on. Sorry. I thought I turned you off. Oh, well, are you sure done now? <laughs> you sure done now. So I had turned it off, but she was still on. Yeah. She was still on and cooking, so that has to cool off. All right, so you guys really want to see? You guys really want to stick with me while I cut while I cut up the turkey? At least I'm going to cut up one of them. You guys still, I cut, you guys, 21 people still there. Y'all really, I'm going to, I'll cut the turkey up for you. But I have to wash, I had to wash my cutting board. And then... I'll cut the turkey up for you guys, okay? So Shabita can talk to you while I'm figuring this all out. What am I talking about? I don't know. Shabita can find something to talk to you about. I read a good book. I have it on Audible. Are you not listening to Audible while you're on the train? No. Why? Because I have to keep on getting off that train. I mean, but you know you're getting off the train, but you don't need to pay that much attention. Sure. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I am not reading nothing. I'm trying to go back to sleep. No. Peggy says, yes, yes. Oh, y'all want to see me do this? Okay. I um, so anyway, I read a good book. It was called Have We Met? It was very interesting. Have We Met? Yes. It was by a black author. I got to meet the author via Zoom. Um, oh, yeah. It was her first book. When, when are we going to get your first book? I have nothing to write about. You have plenty to write about. <laughs> do I? There yeah, you do. You have no idea what happens you do. in this crazy world called school. I'm very busy so, there. So you got plenty to write about in the crazy world called school. You got yeah. plenty to write about. It was about a girl who lost her best friend tragically. Oh. Yes, the friend had cancer. Oh. And she's That's like funny. in her like twenties and she's like kind of flaky and all over the place. And she's like she gets an app on her phone that tells her that she's already met her true love. Okay. And then she couldn't figure out like who it was, and then she keeps running into these people that she knew previously. And I don't want to give the rest away, but it was really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice quick read for the holidays. Oh my god! Yesterday, Daryl came in, and I was like crying. What? From reading a book? No, from watching television. Oh boy. I was watching The Big Leap. It was so sad. Oh, boy. And then Carol's like, I don't know why you watch those types of things that make you cry. <laughs> don't you have a point with that? What I mean, I'm invested. You know what I mean? Like, I cried so much when McDreamy died from Grey's Anatomy. When like, I wasn't died? expecting it. McDreamy. Who's this? You know Patrick Dempsey's character from Grey's Anatomy? Meredith's husband? 
no. Dr. Shepard. When did he die? Years ago. Did he cry? I said I wasn't expecting it. I want Max Landon back. That's not, most of those people are dead. I don't care, I want, I want somehow a Max Landon back. Pine Valley is coming back. Who? All my children are coming back as Pine Valley. It's gonna be called Pine Valley? Yeah, it's gonna be like a nighttime soap opera, I think. Oh yeah? Yeah, Susan Lucci was on the, the Nick Cannon show. Who? Susan Lucci. She gonna be on there? Reprising her role as Erica Kane? Yeah, why not? Oh, really? I don't know if she's gonna be like a main star, but yeah. Wow. Well. She loves to I'm about to cook me some greens and turkey legs. Oh yeah? That sound like a, a plan. Nothing like greens and turkey, man. I can't wait to have me a turkey sandwich. I With can't wait. Stuffing and cranberry sauce. Well, you, we can and do it that way. Gravy. We can do it that way. I got some brioche bread. So oh, no. um, I think that's going to be marvelous. Marvelous. Fancy bread. Brioche, yep. I like brioche bread. If I'm going to eat bread, you eat me brioche bread. All right, let me move this out of my way because you're in my way. Sarah brought, like, Costco Wonder Bread. I don't know who he thought we were. Like, that's a lot of bread. Yeah, that's too much. That's too much bread. If, you know, I had to actually, that's why I, I call it Stop and Shop. I really like to go to the store. I can't take these people. I gotta Speaking go to the of, store. So someone picked up our order. We'll okay. have a start shopping. Now, I'm, before I even start with this, she's in the process of shopping. Before I start with this, I, I'm going to clean out that pot. So, because I need the other, I need it for the gravy, for the turkey gravy. So, what I have to do is clean out another pot. And with that, I got to put this You should somewhere. probably take out the cranberry sauce pot. That's what that's the cranberry one, sauce. That's the, one, that's the one I'm about to do. Yes. You don't have a Tupperware? Yeah, I do. You can put a size on me. Put any Tupperware, but I need a proper size. Oh, I just got a text from them. Okay. Let's see, what don't they have? They don't have freaking tuna. Costco got tuna. And I ordered from Target, not Costco, remember? I know, but Costco got tuna. All right, so guys, first and foremost, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my um, cranberry sauce in there. It didn't go to the refrigerator and it'd be perfectly fine for later. So, you know, I just mopped the floor. I got to mop the floor again. I mean, and that's what happens you when you expected that. Who said that? Yes. Who got? What a big yes. Who said a big yes? Okay. I love them with no pork. Oh, greens. Greens with no pork. Oh, wow. Look how this comes out so nice. It looks so good. It mm -hmm. comes out so nice. I don't want it hot, but it looks good. Look at that. That jellied right up. It jellied right up. Guys, let me show you. Look how it jellied up. Have Peggy you Daniel. done a video on how to make dressing? Uh, I believe I did because I so because I'll use um stove top and I'll hook it up. Yes, I but I did. Look at that. I've Can done. we maybe make a little tiny oyster dressing for Christmas? I'll think about it. it. Depends on how much time I got. Christmas is on a Saturday. Saturday, so Christmas Eve I'll be doing what I've got to do. So I, if possibly maybe because I may have a little bit more time Christmas. Might, might, very probable, very possible. I might do that. A small, a small oyster one. Yes, maybe. That jelly right up. Look good. It looks really good. I should taste it. It's hot. It's hot, but it jelly right up, boy. That's what. That's how. See, if you were to put too much water in here, then 
Or it you would have. Yeah, if you would have just had one pack of um, one pack of uh, the cranberries with one cup of water, it's not enough. It really on the bag. It should say a half a cup of water and a half a cup of sugar instead of doing it that way. Otherwise, it's like what the heck? Why don't they? Do, that's the, the wrong direction, in my opinion. Since it's a twelve ounce bag. But maybe it used to be a 24 ounce bag, and since they're trying to make I forgot there's a word stuff. for that. Like, everything's the same price, but mm -hmm. it's less amounts of whatever yeah. in it. So you don't realize, like, you're paying more yep. to have as much. But there is a word for it, and I can't called, think of it. It should be called tricking people. That's not the word. It should be called a trick. So you got to be real careful with the direction, because it really ain't what, you got to make sure that's exactly what you're supposed to put in things. So, now I'm going to rinse this out pretty good. So, so far, so I can use this for the target lady. Probably what? The target person has not found two items already. What two items are there? I mean, things I could live without for right now, the tuna. Although I was thinking I would have tuna for lunch, but whatever. I got a can of tuna if you want. And then I was looking for the tri pepper, um, frozen peppers. I got, well, I have some frozen peppers too, but they don't have it. You can have some, I got some. I have some in the freezer. So you can have that too. You can shop up here before you go shopping around there. Huh. So let's see what else she'll come up with that the store doesn't have. I mean, this is like, was not an ideal day for getting things either. When I went to Trader Joe's, right? Yeah. They also did not have what? Have you had their harvest chili? It's like pumpkin and beans. Oh no, I wouldn't eat that. And like, a little bit, I think it might be quinoa. It's only two points per cup. But I wouldn't eat that. So no, I, I like it. it. You can put a little bit of cheddar in it. Okay, so now I have a pot ready for my gravy, which I, ha I ain't gonna make the gravy until I get the other, the other uh, drippings out. But I still need what a pot. What other drippings? So here's my, my, my clean pot for the, for the drippings. And I'm gonna cover this thing up. We gotta put it in the refrigerator. Here we go. This goes in the refrigerator, and this is more than enough. I usually don't make this much, do I? Maybe. Sometimes. But that's enough. That's all four bags that I bought. So. It's not a lot considering how many bags of cranberries it was. No, but you know, people don't. Some people don't eat cranberry sauce. I don't know. Weirdos. Folks don't eat it, so <laughs> she's just calling them a weirdo because they don't eat cranberry sauce. So now, let me move Although here. the canned one doesn't give you the real feeling, so maybe it's all. Could have put dried cranberries in it too, right? In where? In your cranberry sauce. Yeah, I don't know. But why? It, it had, you already had real cranberries in there. Okay, this is sort of warm. All right, but well, it's not real warm. And all of my forks. I don't know if you guys could see me, but let me get her out of here. Come here, girly. Come here, girly girl. Oh, wait, you know. Be careful. You know what, you seem like what you wanna do with it. No, I don't wanna lose, whatever I do, I do not wanna lose the, the juice. I'm so short, that's one of the problems here. Kind of short. You're so short? Yeah. Let me take what am I gonna do? I don't know. You're so short. I don't know, but I am short. You're not really short. I am. I am really short. Compared to you? Look at, look at this wing, girl. Look that at, looks really good. Look at this wing. Look at this wing. That fell off. Well, that's a good wing. Now, what I'm gonna do is take the the juice and I'm gonna pour it in oh, it's hot. I'm gonna pour this juice in the pot. 
and prepare for the next one. There we go. This time I want to put some, um, what you call it? Better than bouillon in here. That's what I'm going to put in. Better than bouillon. Can you use this though? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to get me a new, I'm going to get me a new, a new, um, piece of foil. Are you? Yes, I am. Get a nice clean piece of foil. I miss Ned. Nedrick, I miss you. I miss you, Nedrick. In a year or so, you can come to my house. And then you can just do all this, this cutting, man. In a year or so? In a year or so. I don't think that next year we'll be over there quite. But we'll be getting ready to go. But you don't want to do one final Thanksgiving here? Provided that COVID's, you know. No, because I will, this house, will, this house will definitely be packed up. So I don't think so, no. Nope, no, the answer to that is no. I might do a couple of things for us, but I won't be doing this next year. Nope. Nope. You guys will have to wait until y'all come to my house in, uh, in which I'm gonna call that place? In Delaware. That's what y'all have to do. I'll do a few things in Delaware on a much smaller scale. On a much, much smaller scale. So here, here goes. I'll put that in like that. And already I'll just stick you right on in here because that works fine. Let me clean my knife off here a little bit. So, guys, when you cook, you must clean. You must clean as you're cooking because you will never, you got to do it, you know. A, it keeps your hands clean for, for nothing else. But B, that's what you need to do because you just do. <clears throat> I mean, hmm. I'm gonna have to take, I'm gonna have to get another four pan to get that other one out of there. So first I'm gonna cut this, cut this little part off. I bet you. I'm gonna take this is the pretty one. You know, let me take a picture of this. What is this that you're getting anyway? I gotta take a picture of this, guys. Good like that? The skin is good, right? The skin is good. The skin is the best part. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, turkey is like black. In my opinion, I am going to just take a picture of this. Uh, you know what? <laughs> How do you? I, I don't know if I could Mother do makes what kind of dressing? The oyster dressing, so good. But you know, she has not made that in quite some time. Yeah, I do make oyster oyster dressing from time to time, and she wants me to do it again. If, since I won't be here, you know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that. Since I won't be around. So you're not going to do next, next year, year. I might At least make all the classics this year. Yeah. So it we lost, can have a memory. I lost the wing. I lost the wing. Okay, so. I can video it. All right, I'm going to do quick video, then I could actually put it on, I don't know, one of those things, pick it up. All right, this is the, ro the roast turkey that was actually made in the Ninja XL oven. And you see, it got brown. Look at that. It got brown. Sharia sure says it's tasty. And you guys, <laughs> forgive me, but <laughs> I, got a, I got a live going and I'm actually doing this at the same time. But I'm going to take a little piece of the turkey myself. I didn't get actual turkey. I only got skin. No, that's what I mean. That's what I'm getting. The skin. Here's the skin. And nice and crunchy. Very nice. Very nice. I still think it needs a little salt. But she really won't. What do you think? You don't think it needs salt? You know that I don't think that. Well, very good. I try not to make it too salty for Sharita, 
The gravy will help, though, once I put that gravy on. Um, but it's Peggy delicious. says thank you for showing us All the right. cutting process. Bye-bye. All right. You're very welcome. I needed to do that before I did anything else. So how I cut is I get into the, about that way. I get into the, um. Did you resharpen your knife? No, I didn't. But if I need to sharpen it, I'll resharpen re it. Because it should be pretty sharp. I get right into the, the leg and the thigh part. That's what I do. It's like my mother told me. Get into the leg and the thigh. And I had to cut or cut the legs you know that little piece of skin that they have on there so you want to just get it get get right in here and cut that baby off right that's what we want to do actually i want to get right here too and cut the leg right now very simple that's how you do it cut that leg right off you want the leg i'm sure she's mm. looking at the leg like she wants it not right now she wants it later she likes the leg so now when we get, it really, basically it falls apart. You're looking for the joints. You want to cut the joints down. Now, I'm, I'm not going, this is a thigh, but I'm actually going to take the thigh and cut it in smaller pieces so people can have it. So I'm going to take it, cut it back, cut it with my right here. Oh, it's nice and tender, nice and tender and juicy. So I'm gonna cut it away from itself. There you go. Cut it, nice. There we go, oh, it smells so good, my God. I smell all that sage in it, and the oranges and apples. Hmm, it smells real good. I love turkey, especially a nice turkey sandwich. So I like to cut it from the bone, get it all, get it all out. I like to get all of that cut from the, the bone. So this gives everybody some, you know, a piece of, of some of this turkey. With all these people coming, I have to make sure there's enough. So the only thing I don't really want to cut is the leg. You know, though I don't know, somebody doesn't necessarily need the whole leg. But I might leave two legs and cut the rest of it. I don't know at this point. But right now, these two legs will stay. Those two legs will probably get cut up. And those two legs won't have the crispy skin that these have. So there we go. Cut that right off. Right off. You know what I'm gonna do? Going right over and get my and get my plastic bag. I love these bags. I mean they might not be good for the earth, but they're good for recycling. <laughs> they're good for recycling all the all the uh bones and stuff, and things that you don't want in your sink when you're cooking, I use that all the time. So, you got one part off. I don't know, guys, I want you to see. And this is the part of the, the wing, other part of the wing, which came right off. So I don't have to do anything else to it, because it came right off. Then, once I'm here, now I'm gonna cut some of the, the breasts and I'm just going straight down like that. Oh, look how juicy this thing is. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Ow. What we got behind here before I finish that? Skin. Ooh. See, guys? That's the apple and the orange up under the skin, right there. The orange and the apple, right there. Give it nothing but flavor. That's what I do. That's what I do. I get the flavor from there. It, it flavors the whole turkey up. So, now I'm cutting it down. Ooh, Ooh. hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, it's hot, I tell you that. <laughs> It's hot, it's hot. It hasn't really cooled off yet. It's not really, it doesn't have to cool, cool off, but it needs to sit there so that all the juices run back into the turkey, which it did, you know, it sat there. I will be putting the skin right up in here. Oops. I'll put the skin right 
in my pan. I love another piece Ooh. of skin. Ooh. It's a little piece, but. Shamita wants some skin. Tasty. She likes the skin. And this, this is the top of the turkey. This is uh, the bone, the breast bone. So I can start right. I can just make sure I'm away from the breast bone. Ooh. This is what Ned does. He cuts the whole thing like this, then he slices it. That's how, that's how Ned does it, which is not a bad idea. Ooh, he said that's how they do it in the jelly. So ooh, that's kind of what I'm going to do right here if I can. You're really coming out in large chunks right now. I'm trying not to do that. I might need to, you're right, I might need to sharpen my, sharpen my knife a little. I'm gonna sharpen my knife a little bit. I want to sharper. Sharpen this bad boy. Today. Just boiled eggs and um, my normal boiled eggs and bacon. And I had tea and I made me a cup of coffee. I had a, a cookie with it. A cookie. Mm -hmm. And one of the cookies I made with it. Which one? Peanut butter and chocolate. I like that one. That one's better than the others. Of the group that you just made, yes. I don't know. There was not as much love in the other cookies that you make. I guess I wasn't feeling so good. When I feel better, I'll do better. So oh, I'm cutting it, cutting this breast meat down as best I can, because I really wasn't feeling good in the past couple of weeks. So I do feel better that I've been home. But you don't have COVID. I don't have COVID. It's just I got, I got, um, what do you want to call it? Mold, probably mold poisoning. Probably mm -hmm. what I got. Who knows? I got probable, probable mold poisoning. That's probably what I got. So, I told you about the mouse. Yes, you did. Last, last time, right? Yes. Okay, I'm cutting this part. This little butt part. My my older sister likes this part. This is the butt. She likes this part of the turkey. She likes that part. She likes the bony part too. <laughs> but my young, my older sister likes that. So I'm gonna try to remember to give her that part of it. It's beautiful too. Look, look how pretty that is. You know what? It might even taste a little. Let me just taste a little. Why she likes it so much? I don't know. Soft. It's really soft. All right, so let me get the get this part of the wing off. This part is already off. Put it over here. Come over there. Now let's see what we're doing. Got all that skin. Look at that beautiful skin. Skin. It's going in here. It's going in. It's going in. Let me get the leg off. Wait, let me come over here. Pull this leg out. First of all, I think I'm going to get the leg this way. That's the part. That's, that's the knuckle of it right here. I'm going to cut it at the bone. Here we go. Another leg. Get the rest of you off. And cutting you. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I have to see what I'm doing. And then cut. Get you out of here. Come on. Where's the other part? Came right off. There we go. It, it you know, you can almost just pull it off. You don't have a it's not a lot of work. Just pull it off. 
You see all my all my aromatic veggies coming out? And I'm not using them. We're not eating them. We just it's just for it's just to give this turkey um, some flavor. So I'm gonna get you off, cut you down, get you up. More of the dark meat. More of the dark meat. You like dark meat, don't you? Well, you really like the. Sharita likes dark meat. I like the white meat. I do like dark meat. Yes. But but this is still good. Cause if you're just having a sandwich, you don't know what you're eating. <laughs> it's good. With gravy, you don't know what's on there. It's good. So I just want to get as much meat off of here as I can. Come on, come on off. Get that off the bone. Here we go. She all off the bone. And in she goes. And more dark meat. There we what go. are you going to do with the bones? I'm going to put them in the garbage. Why? You think I'm going to save them for soup or something? Can no. I have them? Yes, if you like them. You can surely have them. What you gonna do with them? I'm gonna make, I told you that um, progressive soup kit. I'm gonna right. put it in with that. Okay. Sheree's gonna make progressive soup that she has a progressive soup kit that she showed me. We were supposed to maybe do a video on it, which never happened so far. These videos sometimes just never happen. But that's what she said we were going to do, and we just never got to it. So she's going to make her some soup with that progressive soup mix. I think that's going to be my lunch. Yeah, it'll be enough. It'll, actually, it'll, it could very well be enough turkey meat left on here to uh, give, you, give you some turkey on it, as a matter of fact. I have chicken. Well, you'll have turkey, too, from the, from the bone. Oh, yeah, maybe. This is part of the um the leg. I mean the wing. This is part of the wing right here. Yeah, this turkey was definitely done. I don't see any red. It's a good turkey. All done. All good. Came out very, very, very nicely in that bad boy right there. In that uh oven. In the ninja oven. So if you guys got a ninja oven. And you don't want to turn your other oven on, or you need to use it for other things. Use your Ninja if you got like a, if you have a, a 12, 13 pound um, turkey. Put it in there. Oh, there's it, 17 people. It will cut up this turkey. It will work. Put you in here. Now, let's do it like this. I'm gonna cut it. Oops, so hot. Be careful. It is hot. It is hot. I do like turkey, especially the breast, but I definitely don't care as long as I got some gravy on it and and some mayonnaise. Some gravy on this with some mayonnaise on a toasty brioche bread. Ooh, wait, I'm in heaven. I just may have that for dinner tonight. Yeah. Yeah, the cranberry sauce is not cool enough yet, though. No, I don't, well, I won't have the cranberry sauce on it, but. I'll just have me a nice turkey. I mean, really, if you want to go gluttonous, you could have the turkey the, with the gravy and the mayonnaise, the cranberry sauce, oh. and a smidge of stuffing. Oh my gosh. I still want to cool Thanksgiving sandwich. Oh. Yep, but that's supposed to be for the day after Thanksgiving. I mean, I'm just sharing off with the, the people. Not way before Thanksgiving. It's supposed to be after Thanksgiving with your leftovers. You can do that. And I do have I do have the stuffing done. Stuffing is definitely done. So, yes, here we go. That's the breast. Nice breast, nice breast. And I still have another turkey. And this is why I buy two small turkeys. Because then... You got more, more, um, you got more, uh, legs, more wings, uh, more thighs, 
more breaths. You really have a lot more, you know, pieces. So in case somebody wants a leg, there's like four legs at least to go around, you know. And that's why I usually buy it like that. And plus it cooks faster because it's smaller. So it really cooks much, much faster. And this is the, that is it. I have gotten, I have cut it up for you guys. Like, guys, it's all cut. Those are good. They're all done. Y'all still hanging out with me. I can't believe it. <laughs> Y'all still hanging with me. This is Sharita's, used to be her favorite part. The wishbone. The wishbone is right here. And I don't know if she's going to make a wish with her hubby. But the wishbone of the turkey is right there. So you get that off. My mother took as much meat as she could get off all of this turkey. And she'd be like, you wasting meat. <laughs> Plenty of meat left. You know, she used to tell me that. Get all that meat. So here's the wishbone. That's the wishbone. I will give it to my daughter. And she might, she might play with her kids with it tomorrow. Doubtful. Would you like the wishbone? Sure. You can put it in my bag. What bag? Aren't those just bones in the bag? No. Well, you, you want all of those bones? Oh, I thought you, okay, yes, they're all bones. But I thought you was, uh, I thought you were only talking about the carcass here. Uh-uh. I don't think I have a bat big enough for the whole carcass. I'm not sure. You want all the, you want all of the... I'll take them. Are you, so I'll just put everything in there. The celery in here, I'll leave it all for you. I'll leave it all. You got plenty of meat. You don't even have to put no meat in here because there's meat still all over this place. Like Mama was saying, there's meat behind here. There's meat everywhere. You you ain't getting all that meat. <laughs> That's what she would say. Go get the meat. There's still plenty of meat left there. Y'all can have a whole, a whole dinner left with the meat that's on here. <laughs> So that's what my mom would do. She would get it all off. And here it is. It is more. So I'll meet up under here, under the under the backbone. All of that is meat. So like when you spatchcock it, you really, you really ain't getting all the meat. But there's still meat left. It cooks faster, but you still got all of that. All of this is meat. The, the tailbone, all of it is meat, Sharita, by the way. Pull that off for you. You want both both of these turkeys or you just want one? Just one. Okay. Pull off all the meat I can. That's what I end up doing. Pull off the parts of the meat I can get to. Because my mother told me to. To get that. Oof, it's hot. Look at all that. That's all meat right there. Plenty and plenty of meat. So you want to get it. You want to get all that out. The backbone. Like I said, my sister likes the back. She likes all the bony back parts of, of a chicken or a turkey. She likes that. So, so here goes. Pitter patter feet. Do you hear that? I heard something. The pitter patter of the feet. All right. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this to Sharita. She's gonna put it in a pot and make some soup. And it could go right in there. She can put it all in. Ooh, it's hot. I'm gonna put everything else in here. And she can take all of this now and, and make a soup, which is what she's gonna do. You good now, you can make a little good soup. I bet you'll be like, wow, your soup's gonna be outstanding. I am already telling you. I'm sure it will be. It's gonna be outstanding. So, that, oops. Do you have milk? A little, yes. What do you want milk for? It's like a cream of wild. How much milk do you need? I don't know, like a cup or so. I'm going to have to buy more milk. I know, I just asked the lady who was like, oh, I already checked out. Oh. Well, you can have some, I guess I'll get some later. But I'm going to need milk by Tuesday. So I need it for my uh, cakes. So I'm going to definitely need more milk by then. Alrighty now. So that's that. 
And I'm not gonna make the gravy until I, until I deal with this. I'm not making the gravy until I start with it. Put you over there. Un momento. Un momento. You ready to come out of here? Hmm. Did you I need taste any of the turkey? And the white turkey. This? Yeah, a little bit. I taste the skin. The actual turkey itself. I tasted the skin. I'm putting that over here. Out of my way. Alrighty, come on on. Let's see. Let's see how I'm gonna get this. Let me move it out of the way. Just so I can get to the other spot over there. What I have to do is maybe I'll do two. Two things. Come here. Two things of what? Two pans of turkey. Not just one, two. Uh, Probably. All right, I'm trying to get her out. Come on out. Hopefully, if you can come out and give me some. So people can't see what you're doing. I know, but I, right now, I just got to get her out of here. Come on. One, two, three. There she go. She looks bigger than the other bird. She was bigger. She's, she's bigger than the other one was, yes. She's bigger. And then the apple came out nicely. Okay. Now what I want to do before. First of all, I'm going to tend her for a few minutes. I'm not going to cut. You guys won't see me cut her. I'm going to tend her for a few minutes. Let her get right. So you won't see me cut her. I'm going to make the... I'm gonna make the uh, the gravy now, but I want to tip this one. This one gets tinted and hang out for a little while. Her butt is out. Said her butt is out. So tension doesn't mean it has to be like hot, you know, um, covered tightly. It means it needs to just sit there and the juice needs to go back inside itself, which it was doing in this pot. So, but I want it to be a little bit better. So now what I'm going to do is try to get the other juices in here into this pot. That's my that's my pot right there. And I'm gonna try. I put some foil in the bottom of this thing. And actually, and I put no extra liquid or anything in here, so it made its own liquid. And that came from with no extra liquid. That's what happens. It bases itself. So I got some in there, which is good. And like I said, I'm the foil, foil, foil person. I'm also going to get that out of there. Nice and cool off. That's good. So we're going over now to the uh, I oh. think you should probably. What? Put the gravy on the roast beef and then put the roast beef in the fridge. And then you'll have more space. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I just want to get this done. One and done. One and done. I'm getting tired now. I've been doing this for since like 11 o'clock, so I'm done. I want to get all this stuff done. So now that gravy has butter, of course, in it. So that gravy is going to be phenomenal, period. Phenomenal. And before I'm going to, I'm going to taste it before. I am going to put possibly, probably, I'm going to put some uh, 
Belly and bouillon in here too. Trish says hi everyone. Hi Trish. Sorry, really late. No problem. In bed, not feeling very well. Uh, we Hope understand. you feel better. We understand. <laughs> we totally, totally understand. We don't feel too good either. You know, especially Sharita. Today, today, Sharita really doesn't feel well. Last week, it was me more than her. But I finally had to break down and take Tylenol. I don't like to take medicine. But I finally had to break down and take some Tylenol. And I felt better when I did that. So here we go. I'm going to put a little bit of better than bouillon in here. And of course, my better than bouillon is reduced sodium. So I'm going to put a little better, better than bouillon in here to help it with some flavor. Come on, guys. Get out. I'm gonna help this with some flavor with some better than bouillon. Let me turn it on. It gotta come to a boil just like before. That all gotta come to a boil. And do you have a chicken one of this Watkins or no? I do actually. I have to find it, but I do. Okay, there goes that pot. I'm gonna rinse this out. Or turkey. No, I have a um, I have a um, chicken one up there. You know what? They don't. They, they stopped making the chicken one though. But I do have like this. I have that, and I have another chicken beef, chicken um, what do you want to call that? Chicken base, chicken gravy base. Because I couldn't find any more from Watkins, so I bought this other one, which is supposedly low sodium. If I could reach it, there's a problem. Where'd you put your ladder? I put my ladder back. Out of my way. Hey, Perry! Perry! I'm gonna get him to reach it, but I don't have to get my ladder. Come here for a minute, please. Uh-huh. I need you to reach something for me. Okay? Uh-huh. That, that thing right there? That thing right there. Yeah, that, that container, yeah. But there's something on top of it, so be I careful. That's all I wanted. Thank you. Right. So, this is what I got from. I got this from from uh, Amazon, I think, and it's an instant vegetarian chicken base, and it's low reduced sodium. So that's all good. So it's gonna be less salt than necessary on here. You said vegetarian chicken base. I said vegetarian. Instant, that's what it said, right? You need your glasses? I have my glasses, but how is it chicken if it's vegetarian? It said instant vegetarian chicken style base. Chicken style base. They're not calling it chicken. They're saying chicken style. So it has some, some you'll feel like you had some chicken in here. So I'm gonna put a little of this in here too. That's all I was asking. But that's what it says. That is what it does. So that's what it, and I've used it before. It's pretty good. So you, you want to have, get that to a boil right there. And then I'm coming over with my water. Just says, thank you, ladies. Everything looks so delicious. Thank you. Thank you for staying. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. So let me, let me get that. What do I need? I've been losing my mind here sometimes. Are you using the cornstarch, the wonder, any of those things? I flour. Am, I think I'm going to go for the flour. I don't know. Flour seems to thicken it up a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to do the flour like mama. I'm going to do this like my mama and put some flour in this one. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing what my mama told me to do. Flour. And she didn't buy all this extra stuff. She, they, my mother used what she had in the house, man. And it always came out spectacular. So we always have flour. Oh, I don't know that I have flour. I don't know, cause I don't know how come you don't have flour in the house. She don't got flour in the house. I don't make mm -mm -mm. I actually just bought two ten, two ten packs of flour. From Costco? From Costco. And it was like $10, which was pretty good. That was a good price. 
So I, I have just a little bit of flour left here. Usually you make anything that requires flour. I'm just a little bit left. Like I make spaghetti. There's no flour involved in that. You don't make anything with gravies. No. Shame on you. Gravy is fattening. My husband has high blood pressure. Don't gravy like gravy? often soft, salty too. Does he like gravy? Mm-hmm. Does I mean, he like gravy? I don't think he dislikes gravy. Gravy, I put gravy on, like the hamburgers with the gravy. Yeah, we don't, we don't need that. You could put flour, use flour on cakes if you're making cakes. You could use flour with uh, almost a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I don't usually make cakes. So I guess you're going to need to buy a small bag of flour. It should last you a long time. So I'm stirring this up. I'm stirring this up. It's got some water and some flour in it. I'm stirring it while I'm waiting for this to, it is boiling. I'm waiting for this to boil some more. Patricia says sometimes I use the turkey packages to thicken my gravy. The turkey packages? What turkey packages? I'm not sure. Oh, did you use the carcasses? Like the, um, you could put the bones in there too. That would help. Yeah. That'd make a nice gravy. The part that you just hit, that you just, I'm giving to you, Yes. We can do that. I can do that too. Do some of that. Yes. Now, again, another spoon. I need a lot of spoons. Okay. I'm going to, like I did with the other one, I'm going to put some of the turkey, um, the turkey juice in here. And then I'm going to pour it in there. To temper it. That's what they call tempering it. So it doesn't clot, it doesn't give you the, uh, you know, those clots that you can have. It'll take care of that. Lumps. The lumps. Right. It don't give you all the lumps. So, we temper it with this first. And then we just stir it on up like that. Now, I'm going to put it in the pot. Once you go and see if your butt will thicken up. And it's already, of course, starting to, I don't know, flour does to me thicken it up better than, better than um, the, um, what you would call that, the cornstarch. Cornstarch helps. If you don't want it that, that, like a real thick gravy, cornstarch helps. But I think flour is better, personally. But we are, Letting this roll right here. And we're also, I'm going to take a taste. I'm going to take a taste. See how that rolls here. Also. I'm going to take a taste of you. See what's going on. See if you, if it's too salty or whatever. Let that boil down. Okay. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, perfect. Mm. Oh, I don't even think it needs, it, it could use more salt, but I'm not gonna put no more salt on it. It tastes good. That's, I guess, cause of the butter. There's butter in that joint right there. There's plenty of butter in it. I use, I use two sticks of butter on this whole thing. So, I guess I taste the butter. Mm -hmm. So, would you like the to taste? target person's on their way? Sharita's so gonna taste it. It's hot. It's really good. It's good. Yep. That one, no need for anything else. That's it. That's it. Except, of course, it gets thick. So, now, now I'll add the wonder on that also. I do love, you see, I love this, this um, pantry I got. Especially, <laughs> y'all don't see it too much, but especially because it rolls out. The wonder's already on the counter. Yeah, I know. But I just wanted to show them that I like, I like, I like my pantry very much. When stuff roll out like that, I could see it. Uh, so important when you design in a kitchen 
to get it like you need it so that things come so you can find your stuff because you have so much stuff you don't even see it and you rather already especially me that i don't ever see it so i need to like pull it out it's really good when i take inventory i put a little more put ones in right now hey calm down Maybe you want to turn it down a little. Calm down. Boiling up when I do that. That's right. That's okay. Come on, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Thicken up and calm down. You might want to get one of those automatic stirs. What do you mean automatic? Well, you see them, I've seen them on TV late at night. <laughs> Where it, like stirs for you. You really just stop watching this stuff you find on TV late at night. Okay, I'm just telling you. Perry watches that stuff late at night too. He comes up with these things. That gorilla tape he bought. What gorilla tape? Have you seen that gorilla tape? They put it on like brick and then they put I, another that, brick on top of it. I don't think it's that one. And he thought it was going to work. Well, what was he going to use it for? He just wanted to hang up the pictures, and the pictures fell down. Ah, wow. So Did he like, get any money back? No, because it's 1999. It cost more to ship it back. <laughs> so he never got his money back on that. But he did not like it in the end. Just get command hooks. Those work better. I mean, they do. Okay, so that's going to thicken up for me. And it's gonna, I'm gonna give it a chance to thicken up. Needs to boil. I'll give you my target bags that I get when I get when she comes. I'm gonna need After. all of your target bags. After. Trina got about a million I do not have target, a million target bags. bags. I utilize. And them. I am going to use those target. What? How do you utilize them? Um, to bring things back and forth to work. And what else? The main way of huh? using them. Sometimes the kids need things at work that I give them stuff in the Target bags. Well, I'm sure that you're going to have a whole slew of more Target bags. Because the Target bags will be recycled and they go out with these folks. That's what's going to happen. They're going to be recycled to go out with the folks, with the peoples. So, uh, I'm not cutting this. I'm going to leave it for about know, a, little, a few more minutes. And that'll be done. So I think we could say goodbye, guys. I appreciate 19 of y'all still there. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone who didn't give me a thumbs up, please give me a thumbs up. You please, thumbs up, so. please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate y'all. I think I'm out of here now. Everybody, guys, have a truly wonderful Thanksgiving day. Okay? Uh, there won't be any video coming up for me on Thanksgiving. I was going to do... The, um, the cornbread, but then I got distracted with my nephew and all. So I just didn't get a chance to do that because I was going to have it up by Wednesday, but I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. So anyway, guys, have a wonderful, 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 wonderful holiday. I do appreciate y'all so much, so much. And um, I'll, I may probably see you next Sunday. Yeah, probably. And we'll, we'll be, I don't know what I'm cooking. If I'm cooking anything, we might have leftovers. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But because I don't cook too much. I don't know. But anyway, have a nice holiday. Enjoy all your, your people and your friends. You know, give them a hug and a kiss while y'all while you still got them there. Because, you know, each year you, we, we don't know what happens. So enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. And I'll see y'all hopefully next week. I don't know if Sharita, how Sharita's going to be feeling. But next week, hopefully, I will see you guys later. So enjoy the holiday. And we're going to keep on going for Christmas because we got to do this all over again. So I will talk to y'all later. I might pop in while I'm cooking other things real quick, um, either tomorrow. I don't know. Between tomorrow and Wednesday. We'll see. If I, if I get the urge, I might just pop back in. All right, guys. Love you all. And thank you so much for hanging out with me all this time. It's been a while. It's been too long. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.